a 460 second timeout. Seven, six, five, four, three, two.
expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, The foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812 620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers, unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877- 227-9421 or just visit our website. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. 
If you talk and they will hear you. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy. So we show them how. And we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. Not just one time, but every chance we get. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids not only need to know the dangers and how to avoid them, they need to hear it often from you. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids and guide them through the challenges of growing up safe and healthy. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. So talk, they hear you. You can do it if you try. Are you looking for a great HVAC person that's also local? Somebody who's from here in Southern Indiana? Then look no further than Mike Music and Music Mechanical Services, located in Paoli, Indiana. They offer a wide variety of services, including not only maintenance, but repairs on all of your heating and cooling needs. Got an ice maker on the fritz? They can help you with that. How about a commercial chiller or freezer? They've got your back. Is your boiler on the fritz? They can help you with that too. They even work on outdoor furnaces. Best of all, they're located right here in Paley, Indiana. Give Mike a call at 812-498-1736. Don't worry, Mike Busick knows every aspect of the HVAC maintenance inside and out. Mike is a problem solver and can get all your equipment up and running like new, whether it's summer or winter. Then Mike is your guy. Music Mechanical Services, HVAC done right, Paley, Indiana. 812-498-1736. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world we currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping, alternations, and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square. We are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today. 812-883-4154. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. 
For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. Washington live stream. My name is Brad Mills. I'm joined today uh, by uh, number two here for uh, the West Washington. Uh, I, I've never got to interview. Uh, the, M Mr. Nance and I have been together here at uh, West Washington for eight years now. Mr. Dwayne Nance, welcome you to West Washington live stream. Uh, no problem, Brad. It's glad to be here. <laughs> He's going to fill in for Coach Lauer here as we ask a couple questions. You know, new season, um, you're coming out of scrimmage and you've got these kids. Um, how do you describe this team, Coach, and what are we going to see on the field this week? Uh, the biggest thing about the team that I've noticed this year is they're very fun to actually be around and coach. Uh, they're really excited. Uh, they bring new energy every day, uh, which I've really noticed last Friday, even through the summer, is the depth that we have developed. I think it's a big contribution to our strength and conditioning program. We got more sophomores prepared to play than we probably have ever had. Sophomore class is really good. Junior class, really deep. Uh, seniors, we only got four of them out there, but they're leading really good. And uh, a lot of experience, guys like Tyler Miller, Alex Houchin. We call Alex uh, Papaw Houchin because <laughs> he's been playing offensive line for me for so long that he's kind of like the elder statesman of those guys and kind of bringing them along. He does a great job leading all those guys. So you – and how, you know, you bring it up, and I think something special about West Washington is, yeah, you do have those seniors that are up there, and you have those underclassmen that can also lead. It, it is so important, and you also bring up, like, the numbers. That is something that just blows a lot of people away when we're this little bitty school out here in the cornfield. You know, you've been around this for how many years now as a coach? Uh, this is my 20th season here at West Washington. 20th season. We were talking about the other night about Coach Gibby. It's now his 31. So does it go in – it, it's, it's funny these years um, kind of rack up here. You know, you've been around this rivalry with Eastern since the beginning. Uh, so always, it wasn't always week one of the season. Um, what do you expect out of the, the Musketeers this week? And uh, what are you guys uh, planning on doing to help stop them and get the W? Uh, well, the first thing is, is we have a pretty big advantage, I think, in the continuity of our staff. So like you bring up the fact this is my 20th year here, Gibby's 30th year here. Uh, Coach Burks, Andrew has been here for about 16 years. Patrick Burks has been here about 10 years. Got some new faces like Robert Chandler, we're bringing a lot of energy, Caleb Murphy. Uh, just our overall staff, Holden Bowsman, we all know what he can do. Matt Deaton is like Mr. West Washington football, <laughs> like lives it and breathes it. So uh, just that staff is really what gives us an advantage. And, yeah, I mean, sure, it's a rivalry game, but for us it's also week one. It's another game for us to get better. Our goals haven't changed through the entire years that I've been here. We want to win a county championship, a conference championship, a sectional championship. Then after that, it's all ice on the cake. You get to that last eight teams, you're just trying to, you have a chance to go to state and win state. And that's what we're trying to build here at this school. And so it all starts on Friday. If we want to win that first check mark and get that county championship, we got to win game one. But the biggest thing to us is keep building. It's bigger than one week. It's bigger than one team. We're just going to improve constantly and hopefully play our best football at the end of the season. And the best football is definitely something we saw there tonight in the scrimmage. Seen some really some good good work. You know, seen a lot of younger kids. And uh, we then you guys, you and Coach Lauer both have a late night, and then you have an early morning here at West Washington. Could you talk about last Saturday? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, one of the really exciting things is if you start looking at the future of our program, uh, a few years ago, we actually left the Washington County Youth League for youth football and went to the uh, Patoka Lake Athletic Youth League. And it's been a real boost in numbers and really competition for us. So for us, we have been able to take control of the youth program here. And like Coach Lowry and myself being in the building, have actually gone to elementary PE and be like, hey, have you been thinking about playing football and getting some kids out? And so we have over 75 kids this year. Last year we had over 80 kids and four grades playing. Uh, currently we have four teams, two in each division, upper and lower. We're the only school in the conference to have that. And we've been like that the last three years, and it's really paying off. Like you can see that some of our sixth graders 
last that had played and had like the chance to play all these three years since they've been on separate teams actually step up and really improve. And between that and our junior high advanced PE options that we offer, we have kids that can take advanced PE for six years here. We really feel like that's going to be the key for us to continue that county, conference, sectional, state championship that we want and eventually get to state in the long run. And great numbers of the junior high. I don't want to throw them out. I kind of skipped over them, but I think they're up there in numbers too. Another byproduct, I think, of us starting youth football here and actually running it through the school. We've had so many kids that we get them interested. And then also junior high advanced PE, I think, has helped a little bit too because it's a confidence thing. Some kids, when they are younger in junior high, they're a little apprehensive about maybe getting on the football field because they're like, oh, it's really physical. I'm not used to that. Well, they get an experience of lifting weights for a year, and they're like confident, they're strong, feel good about themselves. They're like, hey, I can get out there and compete. And we had like – somewhere around 45 to 50 kids playing mm-hmm. junior high. I mean, mm-hmm. we haven't had the ability. We did that scrimmage at the center showcase, and we actually had a seventh grade offense playing a seventh grade defense, and then an eighth grade offense playing eighth grade defense. And we haven't had the opportunity to do something like that and since I've been here. And you see that, you know, we come from other schools, you know, and our alma mater struggled numbers at that level, so it definitely makes us feel good to see that. Um, no problems here with the centers. Centers are going to be um, taking on the Musketeers here shortly, so uh, please hang with us here. But um, thank you, Mr. Nance, for joining us for the, uh, the West Washington live stream pregame show. Hey, no problem. I appreciate the opportunity, and go Senators. Thank you. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, They can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Live stream. I'm Brad Mills. I'm joined today by first-year head coach at Eastern High School, TJ Newton. TJ, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So this isn't your first foray as a as a varsity head coach. You've spent some time over James County. We were talking before we came on that you got to spend you got to come in at December uh, over at uh, Pekin to you know kind of get to know these kids. How has that helped you as you've gotten into this start of the year? Um, well, I definitely think it helped us from a strength and speed standpoint. Um, we're a lot stronger and faster than what we were. Um, the other part is it allowed me to recruit some kids out. I mean, we were, we've recruited a handful of phenomenal athletes that hadn't played, um, and now they're a big part of our offense and defense. And um, we were able to bring some kids who quit playing football that we were able to get them back out. So um, it, it was a big advantage to come in uh, mid-semester. And, Coach, you had a good base of players um, to kind of go off there. I know you got a great senior class. Who is uh, really going to uh, shine for you in today's game and throughout the season for the Musketeers? Well, I think our quarterback, Cody Bannett and Brayden Jones, um, obviously are going to lead that charge. But Marty Lewin and Caleb Bonjabal, um, both are great athletes, are going to step in, and um, they're going to touch the ball quite a bit as well. Um We've got a big offensive line. It's probably the biggest offensive line I've ever gotten to coach. Um, So we feel pretty good about our size and our athletes. Um, We're excited to get started. So, Coach, you you start off the season here with uh, West Washington. You guys go to Tell City before you um, open up conference play. How important, you know, is that for a a young – I'll call you a young team because they are young with you, I guess, um, to get to start off with some two non-conference games to start your year? Um, well, you know, you start off with a rivalry game, uh, with West Washington. So, um, I don't think it really matters how good anyone is. Those are always going to be tough four quarter battles. Um, and then Tell City, I like going into the conference. Uh, they're supposed to be pretty good this year. I know, um, they got a couple good players. Um, 
So I, I think that helps set us up for the MSC to be successful there if we can stay healthy. That's uh, that's always a battle there when you go and uh, it. You know, the way these high school football schedules uh, start, it's always uh, – it, it. although I will say we've kind of lost it in the college ranks anymore with all these crazy new alignments. I don't know. You got Arizona, I think, coach playing in the ACC or something. Am I right with that? I don't know. <laughs> it's <laughs> – it's gotten too crazy for me. <laughs> yeah. So I'd like a good rivalry game to start a year. Um, you know, you, you've, I bet, you know, we were talking about how you've never gotten to visit Campbellsburg here. Um, what have the players told you about this rivalry? Um, they, you know, West, I know West Washington's kind of dominated it. Um, I think Eastern's only won it once. And uh, I know this is one that the seniors want pretty bad. So um, other than that, I ha- haven't really – uh, been told too much about it well that's you know it's always interesting to see what people say you know uh we i'm very proud of the as we are the rivalry that exists here in washington County. got some great teams coming up um as we go through that so coach um you talk about that big offensive line uh who's in the offense and defensive line both ways um who is uh who is a force that you would say on that line that really shines for you guys um well, it's hard to miss Aiden Miller. He's six nine, about three hundred and forty pounds. He's a he's a large man. Um, but you know, Carson Rice is another one who's really bought in. Um, he's a pretty big kid. Um, and then uh, our center, uh, Micah Tucker, he does well. And then you know, we've got some guards because we're going to pull some people. Um, they're weighing around between two hundred, two hundred twenty pounds. Um, and then really they're the same group of kids. We've got about seven, eight linemen that we're trying to rotate and keep fresh on the offensive and defensive lines, um, try to give them as much a break as possible. Um, but it's a collective effort, and, um, you know, those guys have come a long way. So, Coach, uh, you know, you're taking on a new, you know, offensive look for you guys. Um, how would you describe your philosophy? Are you somebody that likes to the ground and pound, or are you? do you like to – throw the ball around or uh, or just dink and dunk or whatever can work for you? Uh, well, I've done wing T since I was in youth league. So um, we're a wing T school. So uh, we definitely are run first. But uh, we we got a quarterback as talented as Cody. I mean, we definitely have some stuff in for him to throw the ball um, and to run the ball. So uh, – we're wing T on offense. We run a four four on defense. Um, we just try to be the, um, the hardest playing, the most physical and fastest team we can be, and um, you know we'll see what happens. You know, coach, we uh, get to highlight these kids. It's one of the great thing, but one thing we also like to highlight is the great um, coaches behind all these uh, players. Um, we were talking before we went on air here about some of your great lay coaches that you have. Is there anybody um, – do you want to give them a shout-out here? And uh, They don't usually get a good radio time. Some of your assistant coaches and what they do. Yeah, um, Brad Moore, um, he's a pastor in the community. He coaches our quarterbacks and DBs. Um, Dylan Moore, um, he's new. He's a West Washington grad, actually. Um, but he helps with our inside linebackers. Um, we have Montana Knight, who's an Eastern grad. He does our O-line, D-line. Um, Brant Ferris is an Eastern grad. He does our skill uh, receivers and DBs. Um, and then Mikey Bat's also an Eastern grad. Um, and he kind of helps out wherever we need. Um, so, yeah, we – Kind of most of them are Eastern guys. Brad, I think, is from up north in the Fort Wayne area or Ohio area, I think, around Fort Wayne. And then um, Dylan is from West Washington. It's so important, you know, uh, as the Eastern program is, you know, still less than 25 years old and uh, getting those second and generation, you know, uh, thir- third generations out there is, is key. I know that. Uh, you come from uh, James County prior, and you were we were talking about your time at Lewis Cass up there. Um, uh, is that is that important for your culture to get people that are and that have been a part of it as part of your program? Yeah, I, I think you want to get as many alumni involved as possible. Um, obviously, you want to get high character people and the right people in there, but um, it, 
typically is going to mean a little more to those guys who, um, you know, went out there and laid the groundwork for Eastern to have football um, and to build success upon. That's always great. Coach, um, I'm going to tell you about a little bit of a home field advantage that West Washington has. Um, We have an amazing grill, okay? Um, we have some of the best food around. So right when you're getting ready to walk on that field, I want to, I want you to make sure you eat a lot in that pregame meal, okay? Because you're going to smell these <laughs> d- most delicious ribeyes and all this food before you step on there. So make sure your belly's full, Coach, before you uh, um, s- step out there because y- you'll regret it because you're going to smell all this really good food cooking, all right? Well, it sounds like football is not the only rivalry because uh... – uh, one of my assistant coaches was bragging about the Eastern ribeye, so um, sounds like we're rivaling about everything. Hey, I am not going to turn down a good Washington County ribeye no matter what school it's at, Coach. <laughs> I think that's a good philosophy to have. That's good philosophy to have. Coach, thank you so much for joining us today, and uh, good luck today and the rest of the season, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, They can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the
Welcome back, football fans, to what promises to be an electrifying night under the nights, Friday night lights here at Art Sanders Field. We are live from West Washington High School where the hometown centers are set to square off against their inner county rivals, the Eastern Musketeers. This is more than just a game. It's a battle of pride for bragging rights and for the history books. The West Washington centers have dominated this series and the rivalry all together, holding an impressive all-time series lead with 16 wins and just one loss against the Merritt Musketeers, only one win. The centers won 12 straight, including a nail-biter last year, 26-21. But tonight, the Musketeers, under new head coach T.J. Newton, are trying to flip the script and reverse history. Will it happen? We'll find out. Welcome to West Washington Livestream. I'm Brad Mills. I've got my own Dr. Holiday finally with me here. <laughs> he likes it. So, and I'm back. So, uh, Doc, Doc Holiday, uh, rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. I'm back this week. We got the wizard <laughs> over here, Mr. Craig Akers. We are excited, ladies and gentlemen for a great year of West Washington football here on West Washington Livestream. Thank you so much. Um, going right off top, thank you so much to uh, Jamie Sullivan, Raymond James Financial for that great pregame show. We've got a lot of sponsors we're gonna bring up to you tonight and that's what brings us to it. So we're here. So Mr. Doc Holliday, what do you think here? What, what, what about this matchup? Well, I've been excited all day. I've been waiting <laughs> on this. I actually just got back from West Virginia. Uh, took me about six long hours to get back and I've been routed up for Friday night football all day long. Um, I can't wait to see how this goes, especially being a former senator. So I'm excited to see this county rivalry start. So did you take some country roads to get back from West Virginia? Well, of course. Okay. You got a little extra twang in your voice tonight, so maybe that's from being down in, in West Virginia there. That's all good. So we've got a big matchup. You know, the centers are going to be down without a key uh, cog. And Alex Williams, you see him out there as the number 11 during the coin toss here. He's going to be out for a week, ankle injury. Um, unfortunately, he looked really, really good in that scrimmage for the centers. Yeah, he sure did. He took one real good hit there, and I think that's kind of what put him out. I think a lot of this is just making sure that he's healthy going on through the season. Let's just make sure that he, he gets back on that field. That's one of our biggest things that we got to focus on so, is keeping everybody healthy. So, Doc, what would you think about Mr. Gavin Hunt there, his, his QB1 there in his first, you know, it was a kind of a tight scrimmage there. What would you think about him under center? I, he responds really well to, to what he's seeing as far as the defense. I know he, he kind of runs with the Jeremy Lowry way. Um, he's definitely adapted to what they've learned. Um, he's also quick off the ball. Uh, they had a few missed snaps there early in the game, um, but they, they definitely all rallied around him and executed everything after that pretty well. Well, the uh, the Musketeers won the coin toss. They deferred to the second half. The seniors will receive. They will head towards the scoreboard here in the first half. And so the first quarter, sorry. And so that's where we will start there. Um, we are almost here to kick off on West Washington live stream, simulcast on WWSR. Lots of great uh, action this week. You know, you guys tuned in last night. You got to hear the, you got to watch the uh, great junior high. Yeah, the Thank junior you so high much. game. That was, it was, it was one of those that we were testing, you know, trying to get everything, <laughs> making sure everything worked. We've got our sideline camera there, um, um, you know, just running all kinds of stuff. So we're making sure that everything worked. But junior high was able to come out victorious. I think it was 56 to yeah. nothing, something and like that. I'm looking on this the the Salem Card Show uh, Eddie Gilstrap scoreboard yeah. that we have we have our scoreboard up. Thank goodness. Yeah, yeah, we we were all down <laughs> that last week. We were kept trying to guesstimate how many yards they were going, but now we're good to go. So we're set for kickoff here, as you see, uh, Colton Brown back deep along with uh, Hayden Morrow, and it looks like towards us here. I'm trying to look at that one. I can't see that one on the far right there. It looks like number 13. I may be wrong. Maybe Brandon Alt. I'm trying to see. Uh, it's a uh, itty bitty guy. I'm trying to find. As you sit here, as we look on this, uh, it's Brand Braden Leap. That's who that is. Number 20. And we got the bright red. So those of you listening to us on the radio, we're, we got the red on red with the gray helmet. Um, no logo on the helmet. I see for the centers. The the uh, Musketeers have the white on white with the white with the cursive Eastern on their helmets there. As they're going to be set to kick off here. Who who do we have to stop for Eastern? You think there, Doc? I think one of the big things uh, it, it's been talked about um, is their big running backs, and they got also a big, big line. Uh, one of the things that I was talking to you earlier about is I think their line's going to have to play a little bit of both ways here. So I'm definitely interested to see how they hold up as far as being in shape and being able to get this going. Cody Band with the kick, and that ball goes. It's going to skirt to the left, and it's going to somebody's going to keep going. That's number 23 for the Senators. That is Colton Brown comes in. And that ball came. It hit and then Tucka bounced to the left and then came back to the right. Colton picks it up, and he's going to bring it out to what looks like the 39-yard line. Great start there, actually, after what was kind of a scary little play there. And Cody Bannon, another one that we talked about, the quarterback. We're going to see how he looks in that wing tee for the, 
the Musketeers. And they're going to have to go both ways on offense, defense, that big line. So it'll be interesting to see. And you see number 78 there. He is a big, big, big person, Aiden Miller. You don't miss him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, looks like he's a senior as well playing O-line and D-line. So we're going to really put him to the test to see exactly how – how fast he is this this go around? I know our group is is pretty quick and pretty agile, so we'll see if speed helps helps us on this end. You know, Evan, you brought up something real big last week. I hadn't even thought of Coach Lowry's offense. It's kind of like one piece at a time. Yes, they get a little bit, a little bit, three yards in a cloud of dust, three yards in a cloud of dust. He wants to chip away at it. Yeah, mm. and, that, and you know, with the way Lowry runs things, it's one of those things that you know it, it's hands on all the time, especially mm -hmm. for that O line and that D line, and it those three yards can be exhausting. Mm -hmm. I know we didn't see very much as far as the kids cramping up last week, and let's hope we don't see that this week. But I, I, I'm afraid that it's going to be one of those things that it's going to be hot. Uh, we just need to make sure we stay hydrated. And that pitch goes out to Isaiah Dennis, I believe, number 24 to the outside there. It's going to be a gain for the centers. That's going to give them about, it looks like, a second and six. We'll see Brody Temple on the tackle out there. Brody, one of those kids who came back out that Coach T.J. Newton was able to kind of get back out um, and kind of help it's huge, huge to get for Eastern and get a lot of these athletes back out there for him. Hunt under center. He's looking. He's got an eye in the backfield. A little motion to the left. There's the handoff. No, he keeps. He's going to keep it. He pitches the last Pitch. second. And that is a lot of space. That's number 32 for the Senators, Tyler Miller. And he is down all the way there. Nice run by Tyler. Looks like he's knocked out about the 22. A great run. He takes that from the 43 all the way down to the, it looks like the 25. Yeah. Great. That's ice water in your veins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that pitch is great play, great play. You know, I think that was big for us, Brad. Yeah. I think it's going to be uh, – they kind of got rid of some of our nerves. Oh, yeah. It's, you, you take it – we take that, that – that first big play is a big one there is we got motion. That's going to be Tyler. He's going to be dropping it off in the middle there. And that was just snuffed right there up the middle by number 56. That's Landon Rose, the senior outside linebacker, defensive lineman uh, for the Musketeers. He just um, stayed home like he's supposed to in that offense and did his assignment, and the guy was right there. Yeah, a lot of this is going to be on – playing against Lowry's offense here. I know a lot of that is just discipline, 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 especially on the defensive side for Eastern here. There's you know, so much misdirection. <laughs> I, I, I I was haunted by Coach Lowry's offense when he was at Paoli, so uh, for I sure, totally for sure. know that. As Hunt goes under center here, he is looking looking very good here early for the centers in the first drive. Dennis in motion. There's the pitch to Dennis. He's got lead blockers. Morrow on the outside. Lead there goes, oh, just kind of couldn't get it cut up enough there, could he? Yeah, that, that looked pretty good execution on Eastern's half is just keeping keeping their guys to stay home and being able to seal that off, trying to make him cut it up. And they gave himself time to get there. It, you kind of funnel. You funnel, it, and that's what you hope to is if, if the defensive line and the cornerbacks can funnel it to the linebackers, the yeah. linebackers are the ones supposed to be making these tackles. Well, of course. <laughs> they're coming yeah, downhill. They're the ones that fill the hole. They, yeah. they see the quarterback move and, and what they're doing first. It's basically up to these outside corners and stuff here to, to so get that guy pushed out. Third down here. What do you think we might see out of this? Uh, we ran a lot of the pitches uh, mm -hmm. through our scrimmage, so I look to see that again. It looks like he's dropping back for a pass. Complete, and it's going to be going. That's Mike Miller again. He's got a full head of steam, but I don't know if he's got enough for a first down. He's going to be coming up. It looks like about four yards short. We'll see the spot there. That's on the far side there on the Eddie Gilstrap Salem Card Show scoreboard you can see right there. So that was – he ran a lot, but not enough. Right there is going to be – looks like about like a fourth. Ooh, man, it's about fourth and a football. You know, this, this is one of the things. <laughs> we're, in, we're in the red zone. Yeah, I know go. Jeremy Lowry. Oh, we're yeah. going for You're it all day long. For. So who's – and you got, you got – looks like that's Jamison there in the background. Excuse me, the backfield number 22. Yes. Yes, Collier. I'd say Collier. Look for Collier over the middle. All oh, the balls. Oh, balls down. down. Oh. And that's going to be fall on right there. It looks like number 65 for the Musketeers there. Briar Martin falls on it there. And unfortunate there for the centers as they – we talked about that broken play. Which way are they going to go? We were before the air. We were on air. That's a huge play. You know, this is one of those big things, especially for these defensive captains, to really step up, show their Q QB that, 
hey, we're here, we've got your back, we're going to stop mm -hmm. them in four, and we're going to get your ball well, back. It, also, you have to realize the other team's got jitters on their side, too. Yeah, of course, of so course. So how you respond. I mean, think about it here. We force a turnover right here. It's almost twice yeah. as big as what just happened. Exactly, exactly, for sure, now, especially down in the red zone. And there's a lot of guys that just came on the field that haven't been on the field yet for the center. So Orlando Brook over there, he's a big force to be reckoned with right in the middle. Orlando's going to play a ton of um, defense just – just with his size. Yes, and there's Jones. That's what I'm going to say. They're going to they're going to ground and pound. It's it's kind of been the kryptonite for the centers over the past year. Is is a brutal back that wants to run north and south. In order for us to be successful, I truly feel we've got to make him go. If you're if you're football speak here, out the C gaps, the seven, the eight holes. We need him to go those directions. We don't want to give him anything up the middle. Yeah, I think that's definitely going to be one of our our things that we're going to have to focus on. And these DBs are going to have to step up and make this tackle mm -hmm. on the outside if we're going to get him out there. Linebackers cannot be caught, you know, sleeping. They got to be yeah. going a full head of steam. Also, it's going to be Jones again. He's going to spin out. All oh, great coverage there by the Senators. Man, and that was coming through number 33. We got some new guys this year, new numbers. So please help me out there. That's Trekker Suvac. Yeah. Um, great kid. Yeah. Craig, yeah. I noticed in the scrimmage he looked really good. Yeah, he he did look really good. Um, he's he's filling a, a hole there <laughs> that you know and and. You know, the, the Eastern running back, 220 pounds, coming downhill at you. I mean, yes. meeting him in a hole is not exactly what you what you want to spend your Friday night doing. Well, what's funny is if you know Trekker, he's got a smile on his face while he does it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for he's, sure. He's a great kid. And, you know, look at Big Gavin Clooney there up the middle. You know, we talked about their guy Mar on the other side. I tell you what, Gavin Clooney's a big kid for us, number 71. Right there, him and – him and him and Rolo cover the center of that that defense there. It's going to be hard to run up the center on the Senators here. And we we talk about that. That's why those two those two ends are so important in this offense because if there is any trickeration or counter, for sure, you don't you want to stay yeah, home. Them, them defensive ends, they're, they're definitely going to have to stay home. They're going to have to seal it off, either pushing down inside mm -hmm. you know, where our our yeah, linebackers can fill that hole and stop him right there at the line, or at so, least keep him in a short game. And Tristan Brown there, he's going to be in the middle linebacker. He's going to have to become with a full head of steam. He's a smaller, smaller young man, so he's going to have to try to just do what he can there to help us. It's going to be a pitch to the outside. That's number three for the – that is Bunga Ball. Bonja Ball. Bonja Ball. Yeah, Bonja Ball. Bonja Ball. Bonja Ball. Bonja Ball. Bonja Ball. <laughs> All right, there you go. Got it. Great, great, great run out there. You know, he, he seemed like he ran for about 15, but I think he got about, looks like, six or seven, didn't he? Yeah. Looks like they swapped out about three or four <laughs> different players. Looks like they're going to be taking their big number 78 yep. out. So this is definitely one of those things that we can capitalize on right here and get so our defense do, in the do background. You, do, you, do you try to pass out of this now since – or do you think it's because you're trying to get outside so you can roll it out with your quarterback? Well, I think one of the big things we're going to need to see here is Colton Brown out here on our, our side. Yep. He's going to have to really pay attention to make sure they're not running that sweep out our way. And if they are, he needs to shove it back down inside. It's going to be a rolling out for a pass. Oh, nice. Licked it. Nice job there by number 55, I believe that is. Um, that is uh, Wyatt, Wyatt Wallace, Wallace, the sophomore, coming up with a big play, Wyatt getting his Wallace. paw on it there. So that is a great, great play. And Wyatt was a kid as a true freshman last year, got a lot of time, especially towards sectional play where we really had to rely on him, and he really came away. And I know Coach Lowry, he was one during the summer. He was like, I'm going to give you a name. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say yep. it too much. But yeah. he said he's coming along. Well, he plays that very important kind of kind of wide side, you know, linebacker there. The, the, well, and, and he's got to cover mm -hmm. mostly backs coming out of the backfield as a linebacker. Yeah, so. because if that guy gets behind him, Morrow's the only man out here on an island right. that's got to get him. And they're going to stack it in tight here, trying to get those tight yards. If if they don't if they don't go for right up the gut here, I don't know what to think. And they are going to be a oh. Short pitch. It's going to be a first down by about an inch or two there because the gentleman on this side is going to give yeah. it to them. Yeah, that's a that's a nice run, nice play design there by Eastern to get those yards that they need. They only needed three. They got three and a half. So. Yep. Yeah. One of the things you got to watch, though, when you're running a play like that, Craig, is, is when you're tossing the ball around in short distance in spaces like that, somebody else's hand can get on it and oh, drop yeah. that ball easy. Yep. So that will be a first and ten for those of you listening on the radio. I'll make sure I'll say the time. 7.23 left in the first <laughs> quarter. Um, we sometimes forget about that there, so we got to make sure we do that for the fans at home. Jones in the backfield. I'm going to say they're going to go to him probably over here on the right side. He is just a brutal back. Yeah, I look for them to run a drag or a post out here on this right-hand side. Oh, he's going to oh, keep, keep it. And he is dropped down. in the backfield. Nice stop there by the Senators. I'm trying to get a number on That's that. That's 33. That was, that was Trekker Subak coming right. in either. He's got a little pies and cakes, pies and cakes, a little <laughs> dance there. Yeah. 
That comes from my days at Kentucky. That was what we said. I coached down here. If we made a big play, I had a gentleman named Brian Farmer who would jump up and go, pies and cakes, pies and cakes, pies and cakes. <laughs> and uh, mostly because if you got a sack on my team during the JV game, you got a Big Mac. Oh, that's awesome. So they were four for $5 back then on Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> now you can't get one can't for $5. Five. No. Yeah, no kidding. Talk to Coach Lowry about that one. See if you can, <laughs> See if you can help us out <laughs> with that one. There you go. All right, and I tell you what, we got Temple over here. We were bringing his name up in pregame, and yeah. you're, you're you're begging for a post. Maybe yeah. we'll see some here. This is probably going to be something right here. You can tell his DB's backed uh, off a little yep. bit here. That's a reverse there. Oh, he's on there. Yeah, the yeah, it's coming back. It's going to be coming back. Yeah. We got a block in the back. He's going to go in the back, but we got a block in the back back here. It's going to be coming yep. all the coming way back. Coming all the way back. We got a hold. Oh, I think is what yep. they're going to call it. Yep. Number 10 there, the Cody yep. Bannon, he, he's checking with the referee to see what's going on here. Yeah. you when And that was kind of a little bit of a, a mess in the backfield there. And it, what's happening? All right. Yeah, you know, one of the things you're going to have to really focus on here is I think that's what the first flag of the game. Yeah. That's a huge play, too. That's a That cost yeah. you a touchdown. It cost him a touchdown. Now, did it help get the touchdown? Most likely. Yes. Oh, I'm yeah, because we had a defensive guy there getting ready to make a tackle and then got held as the – the back went by him. So. so we go. I'm trying to remember. I, I, I sometimes give the zebras a hard time. I can't. I have to. I mean, that's all right. Everybody's got to do it sometimes. I know. I know. But that was that was definitely a yeah, hold. I mean, that you was could, definitely a hold. You could see um, it. So it's yeah. going back. Yeah. So that's going to be a that's going to be a backbreaker. That's going to put them deep on the because we're going to go from the spot right. Are we going to? Yep. Yeah. One of the big things we're going to have to pay attention to here is how are they going to respond? How are yeah. our guys going to respond to this? So, do you think their offense with the wing tee is really set up to make huge plays? I, I think it, it can be. Uh, uh -huh. Depends on the plays, what you're running, and how well your your O line executes it. Uh, that's going to be one of the big things with, with running out of a wing tee. It's it's mm -hmm. all about movement, what kind of movement, and how quick everybody can get there, just to keep your defensive line and your defensive backs out of your face. They're coming this way. It looks like on the wide side of the field towards, towards us here at the press box. And they're going to – Rolling out for a pass. pass. He's got some pressure. He's got some pressure. He's going to be smoked right there. Brought down still behind those down markers. Yep. So that's going to bring up a third and about looks like uh, uh, Fredericksburg from here. Yeah, at least. Third Mr. Acres room. It's right over there. <laughs> morning, so, uh, there you go. Yeah, there there you, you go. go. We have to get that joke in once a game. So. Four, uh, we are at 5.44 left here in the first quarter. And, you know, the centers um, have looked good on defense. Yeah, they're looking really well. You know, and, you know, de defense is one of their things, you know. Gibby being here for 31 years, it, he kind of knows this front <laughs> to back. He, he's always kind of ran the, the same The, the philosophy same doesn't thing. graduate. That's exactly right. And that's how you teach, and that's what Dwayne Nance brought up. It's huge. You know, that, that's one of the things is that this school, we've, we've done a lot of the championship oh play. All right, there is Bannon. He's got all kinds of time. He's going to be running. He's going to try to chuck it downfield. He's got a button. That's, that's Temple nice in the middle. Nice hit right there by Hayden Morrow. But it's going to be too much for a first down there as Temple makes the catch. Senator's in a little bit of a prevent defense there and mm -hmm. let somebody get behind him, which is Actually, the, that was Eli Hoagland. I apologize on that catch. Which is the number one, like, rule of mm -hmm. the prevent don't let somebody get behind you and that's exactly what the senators did there so do you and that some I, of that's probably the the way they were running their defense is they weren't really rolling off to that right that short mm, side yes. for that play i mean the the big side here over here on our side of the field was and, and, more open and that's what you realize the quarterback is still got to run 35 yes. yards to get exactly. a first down yep so here we go a big play and this is going to be a gut check time for the senators here as they're going to see a snap, and that's all. Oh, that's got to be some motion. Nope, they're going to do it. All right, that's Hoglins again. He's going to be right stuffed. Nice, oh. shot. nice shot there oh, by the center. Flag on the play. What are we going to have there? Is that going to be helmets? No. Good possibility for a targeting there. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. It looked like a football play to me. Is all I'm going to say. <laughs> Just a good, good solid hit there by number 55, Wyatt Wallace. We'll see. They're looking around, trying to. Yeah, they're going to move this one back. It's on Eastern. Okay. Because they're talking to Coach Lowry about what okay. he wants to do here. So. Yeah. Yep. So I mean, you push him back. Yep. And that's yep. Hold. Okay. All right. That's a great. I don't know how you could hold. I get, hold on when you <laughs> when you get hold when you get your uh, running back smoked. You know. Yeah. Five yards behind. That's not a. Good well, we play. fought through right there. Yeah. We did a nice job of shedding that that hold that happened and and get get it moved back. So. You, you know. Back when I was playing, you know, it's it's always one of those things when you're running a, a tight offense mm -hmm. like these guys are running, you you gotta execute well. Um, 
you got to make sure you're not – even as if you are tired, you can't hold, you can't just take the lazy way around yeah. because it, ultimately it's going to hurt you. When I spent some time at Crawford County and ran four offenses in five different years, um, with there were a lot of head coaches there, um, <laughs> but we, we ran the wing tee for a year, and it was rough if you didn't if you weren't tied on it. Yeah, because the timing and the blocks and everything has to be so key here. Uh, I think they're going to try to roll here with Bannett. Let him have some. They're going to roll go. out with yep. another pass here. And look, he's holding that ball down. We have to just come up and get him. Oh, come up and get him. Come up and get him. He's down. Oh. oh. He falls. Oh, and there's no him. eligible they're receiver. Gonna That's going to be down. intentional ground, grounding. Are they going to call him down? Because we have intentional grounding, if not, up here. As Matt Deaton has given an earful to one of our <laughs> – I'm pretty sure that's what he's saying down there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so the intentional grounding would happen, but he got it out of bounds. Oh, okay. So it was right true. on the line, but he got it out of bounds, and he's outside of the tackle. So that is a bad break for the Senators, but correct call there by the uh, officials. So. Yeah. You know, it, where he came down at, I, I think that Lowry would have declined yeah. that as well. Yeah. That's a great play. I mean, he's looking – the way he does not look very confident when he's rolling out with the ball. It's on his hip, and that's something like we have. what, second and 30 here? Yeah, second and 30. 24. 24. 24. 24. <laughs> and this is a big play. We can't let something happen. We gotta, we've got to execute this stop him right here. That's going to be that – it's going to be in Reverse under. In under. Nice stop. Uh, there, great stop Wallace. by Wallace Wallace. I said that with a little bit of an Irish accent that Wallace. Wallace, yeah. You know, and that, that's one of the things that, that shows you the Senators, they're very disciplined. He stayed home, he mm -hmm. waited on it, and right there it well, was. Well, you bend but don't break. You give up five yards, but you don't give up 45 exactly. yards. So, I mean, this is where we're seeing We are all the way down to 335 left during the first quarter. I mean, Eastern has ate up the clock on this quarter with this drive. Well, when you have to get 25 yards to get a first down every, <laughs> yeah, time, every time, I mean, it's going to eat up okay, some clock. So so. You know, and you, you got to remember we started down here yes. at about the 25-yard line. Yeah. We have been going back and forth, back and forth. So let's see what happens here. I do think they made that left side, that just wide side of the field has not been there on the run. It may be something with Jones on that side. Rolls out for a pass. He's going to be Jones to pass. They're going to pass. He's going to be underthrown. That's on the That's yeah, I don't are we, know. Are we looking, we're looking. He's saying Either it's a way, catch. Either wow. way, even if he catches it, it's mm -hmm. still third you got number 14. 16 over here with his hands on his head. I'm going to say that ball hit the ground. Oh, man. But they're, they're going to – but the gentleman on the picks over there called it a catch, so it yeah. is a catch. So it's fourth and 14, 15. Yeah. I mean, that's – And you go, you go for that's it. That's still playing, a long way yeah. there, so – so, Jack yeah. Armstrong coming in for Trekker Suvac, excuse me, for uh, number 32 there for the Senators, Tyler Miller. Tyler, Tyler's going to be our guest at halftime. Don't worry, I recorded it beforehand. <laughs> you know, this, this right here, this is one of those situations It's really hard to punt in because of no, where you're yeah. at. Look for the post. Post all day on this play. Post all day. Oh! Oh, oh that ball is down, but he brought it down. Back. Wow. Wow, nothing went right for that play yeah, in the that quarterback. Was. There, that was number 10 with the big ball. Big turnover right there. That was Cody Bannett with the ball, and it just didn't look right. And that is the big mo. So what can the centers do on this first play here? Caleb Murphy over there, the alumni uh, coach, he's slamming helmets with people. Hopefully he's got to remember he doesn't have one on anymore. Well, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I don't know that it would slow him down no, at all either. So No. Definitely one of those guys that's got a lot of energy. It helps this, this O-line and this D-line yeah. definitely rally around oh, that. Oh, yeah, and he has that young energy that you need uh, to give it as, as Hunt will go under center here. And they're looking as we're already in Musketeer territory. Holds it. Oh, great run. Great He's run there. Yes. And Gavin is elusive yeah. when he runs. Last year, Craig, before he got hurt, yeah. he was able to just – Kind of just he's, he's one of those kids that just finds holes that mm -hmm. aren't really there the whole time, and then all of a sudden there it is and he's through it. You know, and that, you know that's one of the things that I, I was talking about over the scrimmage. He's learned how to run this, this offensive, mm -hmm. and we got one more year of him still. Yeah. So I look for a lot of things to come out of this, especially with the younger guys coming mm -hmm. up. Uh, I know Dwayne Nance was talking about a lot of that sophomore class really starting to fill mm -hmm. in some shoes. Yeah. I know. I watched the junior high game last night, and Max Hunt, the, the eighth <laughs> grader. Oh, ball's, ball's down, ball's down, down but it looks like, like Hunt's recovered. got it. I don't know that Collier ever got the ball. Yeah. I don't know that he ever did. I don't know if on the replay we see that. I don't know that he ever actually got it. I don't know if his arms were in the wrong way as he went or if it just never got into his gut. You know, and that's one of the things is we've still got some jitters. We're not even quite through the first quarter here. We've got a minute and ten seconds left. Oh, yeah. We got to break through all these nerves, get this kind of settled in. That way, we're ready to ready to rock and roll 
make sure these guys are executing what they're doing and really just reading the play a little bit better. I'm telling you that the wide side is over to the right, but the left side over here has been our, our way. It's been our strong side strong for sure. Strong side for sure. And that's Collier's going to yeah, snuff right there. Nothing there again. Musketeer's able to stop that one. I believe that was 56. Yes. That is Landon Rose, who's been a thorn in our side for a lot of plays on this, you know. And, you know, when you have a Aiden Miller up the middle there who's probably taken on two guys, you can, you can get free pretty easily. And, you know, we look at number uh, 70. Uh, I was trying to look at it there. They're – their whole offensive line is big, but then when you have when you have most of that in Aiden Miller, <laughs> yeah, goes across the line here. Looks like there's about a hundred pound difference. Oh, that's too. tomorrow on the short screen, and he's going to be snuffed out pretty quickly. They're about back to the line of scrimmage. It looks like he may have gotten some. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So got maybe three, fourth and seven here for the Senators. Yeah. You know, like I was talking earlier, this is one of those zones you, you really can't punt in. No. They're going to let the first quarter run out here. Yep, so from our Sanders field, we have a scoreless first quarter here. You listen to West Washington live stream. Stock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Watching live stream, I'm Brad Mills, and we are here at our Sanders Field. And we just want to take a moment here at the end of the first quarter to thank all of our sponsors here on the West Washington live stream. We didn't get to take many commercials during that, so <laughs> yeah. make sure. So we are thankful. Thank you. First off, we talked about Jamie Sullivan, Raymond James Financial, the West Washington Community Foundation. There, in our, you know, it's going to be our halftime sponsor. Our big post game sponsor is Music Mechanical Services. Our scoreboard, Eddie Gillstraps, and. Uh, for, and the Salem Car Show, make sure the first down, every first down tonight is brought to you by Aaron Shockey with Farm Bureau. Is that correct? Yep, that's correct. All righty, so we should be a great game here. So first quarter jitters are out. You talked about jitters. I'm drinking coffee, okay? <laughs> I've already went through a whole Dr. Pepper, Pepper, so we're We've ready. got our jitters out of this, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, now, I, oh, we're talking about the players. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, they're going to be good here on big fourth down. You know, this may be something where you get a second to draw something up. And you might get a you might get enough to where you get them to call a timeout or something. Here's the centers are going to come. They're pushing everybody to the sidelines again. Let's see what we got yeah, here. Yeah, not quite sure what's going looks on. Like a, looks like we're showing about eight nine yards to go. Yeah, uh, definitely think this is going to be one of those things that Lowry's got to trick up his man. Thing. I, I would love I would love to see like a tight end come out. You know, on a kind of lost. You're going to lose somebody on one of these and it's a post or you know a quick out where you can hit somebody because it's a level of throwing that we don't usually do. We're used to dumping, dump, dump. You hit somebody right there and you catch a guy who hasn't had a ball thrown his way all day. And if he's too far back, all we need is a little cushion. A you know, that, that was one of the things that they executed really, really well in their, their, their scrimmage was when they sent those guys out from the line mm -hmm. there, they all executed. I think it, we only had a handful of drop passes. That's one of the things that Gavin Hunt does really well. He makes sure that, that ball's placed right in the right spot. Well, he's got Holden Bowsman, another alumni down there, another young guy. We brought up Caleb Murphy there. So, you know, Holden, the, you think about that, that is so important to me. we got a lot of young coaches. we got the, the older coaches, like we said. we got young coaches that can relate to these kids very quickly and have been winners here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Holden went through, through a, a, a bunch of championships. Yeah. I, know, I know he led a lot of teams mm -hmm. into them, and they all rallied around him. So mm -hmm. I think that's one of the things that he's able to kind of instill into some of these mm -hmm. young quarterbacks. As Hunt's going to be there, and we're going to see this. I think we might see – I tell you what, Colton Brown has torched Eastern. They they have – in every level, he's torched them. And they – JV, junior high, they they probably have a little PTSD from him here. Yeah, we sit here and we look at – you got a, another outside linebacker here for Eastern, kind of keying in on the QB, kind of seeing what's going on here. As they go to a long snap count. Looks like they're going to check the call there. Yep. Maybe trying to draw them off sides there to get a, give us a few yards. 11 seconds on the play clock, and we're going to have a timeout. So, Coach, that was what he was trying. That's what he was trying. And, you know, 
Mr. Akers and I remember the 2020 team where we started every game on a two count and got it yeah. every single game. Yep. Yeah, I wish I wish there was DraftKings for that because we could have bet it every time and won every time. Yeah. Because every game it was like just you go up there and you you make that and everybody gets so anticipating on what you're doing here. I still I still don't think anything's changed. I think it's still the same kind of play they're looking they they're giving a look now they're going to give another look. Yeah, and you know one of the things that uh, you got to kind of think about is when you're when you're up there and you, you go on that two or you're trying to draw them off sides, you got to make sure you got that play in your back pocket too. Oh yeah. You got to have something, you know, and uh that's what you have to only you have to have only so many, you know, two point conversion plays. You have to have so many fourth down where you need a, you know, a, an air attack play, an air raid play. For sure, for sure. I definitely think it's one of those things is Lowry's definitely setting these kids up, trying to make sure that everybody knows the play, mm -hmm. make sure it gets executed well. That way we get this. The big first one down. here is know the snap count. Oh yes. Don't jump off sides. Yes. Yeah. You know, Nothing we tried works. we tried to draw Eastern off offsides there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the Senators don't want to jump here and yeah. make it even longer than what it already is. And you know, that that's one of the things. This is a really good way to, to do it is they may come out and go on to this, go around and try to catch them again. Oh, right through his hands. Yeah, they were going for Colton Brown there and just a little bit over, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. The Musketeers will take over on the 32-yard line of – their own 32-yard line. You know, the Senators do a good job of moving the ball there, just kind of stall out. But now the defense has got to come out and, and you know, control the, the mm -hmm. pace here for the Musketeers. You know, I, as we were sitting here watching, I watched they, they pulled Aiden Miller off. Looks like he's over there getting a big old sip of water. So I'm interested to see how this goes as far as pushing their offense down the field against our defense being fresh. They have not given Braden Jones the ball except twice, I believe, and I'm surprised they have not given it to him at least 15 times in this game because he is a force when they give it to him. Here he goes up the middle. Hands up. Yep. And he's got a big run. There. And it's going to be stopped by Hayden Morrow and, and number 18 there Brandon for Brandon Alton as they come up at the very last moment and make the tackle there. And what I tell you, you know, you see that big guy go out, you're going to you, – he's not there to probably protect that running back. He's there to protect the <laughs> yeah. quarterback when yeah, he Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. And that's – if the Musketeers want to be successful, they throw all this running and stuff, They throw, throwing stuff, you just give it to Jones. Yeah, they're going to do that a lot <laughs> over the game. And uh, I, mean, I think you, a lot of that's going to be for our defensive backs mm -hmm. to really step up, fill that hole, getting tired. Yes. Once we wear him down, yes. I think it's going to be one of those things that he's going to slow down, the game's going to slow down, and we're going to be more in control. So they got a great first play there as they're going to go in the backfield now for the Musketeers is number 24, Christian Wright Reacher, as he's going to get the ball, and he's going to go up the middle, and he has somebody drive him down there. It looks yeah, like Rolo. That's Rolo on him that brings him down. So that's going to be close to another first down. Looks like about a first, uh, a second, and two. Two or three, something like yeah. that. Yeah. You know, another nice run there for Eastern. A misdirection out of the backfield. They they fake a pitch, and our defensive end bought on it. Yep. Luckily, they ran it up the middle for Rolo to stop. Yep. As we're sitting here as Coach Gibby's sending in the offense, I will say that uh, it's something that we have to be able to watch as the counter, like that first, that fake handoff. We bite so hard sometimes on that. I look for a pass down left hand side here. Oh, there's going to be a pitch in the inside. Coming back, he's going to go. He's going to go. Oh, he continued to try there. That was Cody Bonjabal with the ball, and he kind of extended that a little. He's lucky he didn't get popped. He was he was trying to extend it. Yeah, he was trying to reach out and make sure he got the first down, which he had easily. Yeah. You know, that that's one of the things out of that – that wing formation that they run. It's one of those plays, that, and Cody Bonjabal also looks like he's athletic enough that he could throw the ball. Oh, yeah. And they were set up for it. Yeah, it's kind of like a little you Just know, a little toss ball. right over top of those linebackers, yeah. and, and they'd have had a whole lot more space. Yeah. So let's see what happens. Put that one, earmark that one in your play. That may be something they're setting up. And we've got on, Rolo holiday. off the field, so that makes up the center for the Senators a lot easier to run. Yeah. There's going to be, and that's going to be a flag on the play there. Yeah, there was some motion before. I Stopped think, him basically right at the line, though. Looks like he gained maybe three on the dive. Yeah, I think there was too much motion beforehand, in my opinion. Yeah, there was there was all kinds of motion there. So I uh, want to take this time and give a big shout-out to our furthest listener who's chimed in so far, Dan Humer Jr. from up in uh, Plainfield, Illinois, tuned in and already sent me the picture. So if you can beat that, make wow. sure you, you uh, send me the picture of you watching wherever you are. 
That is, we need to get some live stream like merch to send out. <laughs> <laughs> I may have to. I may have to work on that. There you go. Correct me if I'm wrong, Craig. Is that a little over 400 miles? Yeah, about. Wow. About. So. Look at you guys. You can. You can. How many kilometers is that? <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do that. The only reason I know that is because I just drove. S- <laughs> <laughs> Folks, if you get ready for a good season, that's all I'm going to say. We're gonna have a lot of fun up here. I I have. Uh, if you're looking for uh, intense football play, we'll get there. But. Uh, we have a lot of fun up here, and thank you so much. And thank you to Craig. He puts a lot in. I we, we I think about 400 text messages maybe. Yeah, like probably something like that. We go through it a week. Just a few. Just a few as we work full-time jobs and do this. As we got all kinds of confusion on our line. We got everybody reset good. I still think Jones is going to get the ball here. He uh, just I a, do, too. He's I just such a force. One of those things. Yep, there it is. There it is. Looks like it ran a power up yeah. through there. Looks like it took about four senators to take him down. He hit that hole pretty hard. And it's like you said, he, we got to wear him down yep. is all we can, but we can't let him get those. Now, the good news is they got basically back what they got on the, the penalty. Yeah. yeah, maybe a yard or two. So, I mean, that's where you got to wear him down. Um, his durability, he's got a lot of, you know, 2,000-plus yards, 35 career touchdowns. Yeah, and I believe he plays both ways, doesn't he? He does, yes. He's a linebacker, yes. And so as, as House He's already got his in, hands on his hips. We got a player limping off for us there. And 22. 22 for us. That is James and Collier. James yeah. and Collier. As the centers have to take a timeout because they were getting ready to have too many men on the field. So we're going to swing out for a quick word from one of our sponsors. Thank you so much. If you Hey, if you'd like to sponsor us, give Craig a call, uh, email, or Darren Russell, our athletic director. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877 227 9421. That's 877 227 9421. Or just visit our website. Welcome back to West Watch Live Stream Simulcast on WBSR. I'm Brad Mills. I got Doc Holiday to my right. I got um, Morgan Earp. Oh, I'm sorry, no, no. no. <laughs> got uh, Mr. Craig Akers to my left here as we are in a shootout here in the OK Corral, better known as R. Sanders Field tonight. As nobody wants to score right now, it's 0 0. It's 9 20 left here in the second quarter. Everybody's trying to um, pop that first bottle of bubbly on the season uh, to see who wants to be the one to uh, score here, and it's going to be a, a big play here because this is a second down. If they can get it close. Looks like they're set out real wide here. Yeah. They got three receivers out, one wing here. I'm interested to see. I, I look for them to roll out for a pass here, maybe even handoff. There's a handoff. Jones, and he's going to be stopped. Brought right. down at the line. But he lunges forward. Leans forward. That. That's part of being a, bit, a big running back. <laughs> yeah. You can, you can kind of push a little bit and get a couple yards. You know, it's one of those I know you, we were talking about. You played with Layden, Landon McPheeters. You know, he's a guy who pretty well three yards was easy. Three yards easy. You know, you do it, you do it three times, you're, you're close to a first down. Yeah. You know, and that, that's one of the, the things that you can run out of this. And that's what Jeremy Lowry is really, really good at. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we see a lot of teams that do a lot of ground and pound, mostly because they have a little bit of a smaller team and they can play both ways. Mm-hmm. Um, I think one of those things that you get to see with that is exhaustion. Third and three here on the 19-yard line, 8.39 left in the first first half. Not just first quarter, first half. We're, we got another timeout, it looks like. It's going to be by the Musketeers there. They saw something they liked or did not like. So we're going to step aside for another quick commercial. You're listening to West Washington Live Stream on WWSR. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. Welcome back here to West Washington Livestream. 
and it is a <laughs> we've been going back and forth here i think the last minute has taken about about 15 to get here we're at 832 <laughs> left in the uh, second quarter here is the musketeers have taken the field the center's defense is coming out lots of substitutions there for the centers you know um i will say it, something that is about ours our whole crew we're pretty lean young there's a lot of young lean kids they're getting stronger yeah but there is long you see that between eastern who has a lot of seniors on the field and then nobody really after that yeah come out with a little bit of a different setup this go around i'm interested to see what they do here Got a little motion to the right. There's the pitch. It's going to be over the middle. He's going to that's a hold right that's there. That's going to be hold, but we're not going to get it, and he is going to be close to the first down. <laughs> the whole senator coaching staff saw that hold <laughs> along with two we officials, and, up here at the press and box. nothing right, is called. So I saw, I think George Browning down there even called it too, <laughs> but there was no call. So it's going to be fourth and about two, and centers capitalized right here really well <laughs> yeah uh, they, they definitely kept him from getting that first down that's one of the things that coach Gibson really is strong and known for is his red zone defense yes and he just kind of comes in here he's the, he says he's the 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 master Yoda um, he's been here so long he just knows all the tricks here yeah. so this is where the jitters you hope you get it's like some they're gonna rush to the line they about are five seconds left yeah they're gonna, they're gonna have to catch us on our heels they're gonna have they're gonna have to hurry up and get this, this that's gonna be a play clock violation they're not gonna get this there off there it is there it is oh it's gonna be another timeout wow wow yeah, so quick eight. timeout there 733 left in the second quarter we have had a lot of a um, lot of uh timeouts there um, we'll go away for another commercial, help out our sponsors there. You're listening to WWSR here on West Washington Livestream. Grounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Welcome back to West Washington Livestream here on WWSR. I'm Brad Mills. We've got Evan Holiday and Mr. Craig Akers alongside me here at Arch Sanders Hill. We got a big nail biter here. 732 left. It is fourth and one is what they're saying on there. It's a long one if it is. That's a real long one. one. And I definitely look for them to try to draw our guys off sides here. So this is gonna be some disciplinary stuff here. And it's gonna be right to Jones. He's gonna be breaking to the outside. He's gonna be in for the touchdown. And he can't stop him. He's gonna oh, like he's right down sure. the line. He's about I had a little bit of a thing. He came out to the outside. He's yeah, I think he stepped out. Out. Uh, are they marking him on the five? Yeah, oh, marking man, him on the got, five. Wow, so. I saw okay. that is on the far sideline there, so it was kind of hard to see. And I saw him taking. He's he, not. A, he he's dove, a, but he yeah. he was out of bounds when he did it. He's not an east-west runner. He is a north-south runner. And now they're going to be in there ground and pound with first yeah, and Yeah, we're going to get a heavy dose of him right yep, here. He's Right here is where he wear him down. Yep. So we'll see. Look to see these defensive linebackers step up and make some plays right here. Here he and goes. He's going to go. He's going to cut. He's down gonna again. Wow. Wow. And that's going to take a lot of time off the clock, too, for the centers in case if he, they do score. A la Marshawn, uh, uh, the Bradshaw guy in the <laughs> Super Bowl against the – for the Ahmad Bradshaw. There we go. <laughs> Pulling that one deep from the, the fantasy football playbook there when he did that in the Super Bowl against the Patriots. So we got number 33, Trekker Subak, coming yeah, off the field there he's pretty been, quick. He's, Trekker runs everywhere quick. <laughs> well, that's a bonus that we've got on our half. Yeah. As we're going to come here, we're at 626. They're knock, knocking on the four-yard line here. It looks as if they're taking a long. Looks like long. I, I expect a power to the right side. Yeah. Here. They've got it set up to the right there. He's going to counter to left. He's going to fall in. Ooh, he lost the ball there lost for a second. The so it's 6 9 We got another down there. I swear that Senator <laughs> senator defense and, and that Coach Gibson yeah. does really well. I mean, I think they, what they started at the five-yard yeah. line is third down and, and one yard to go. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, right at the point, I tell you, the right side was where you go. You had, yeah. the, you had the people there, and they go left and they go away from all the strength they have. 
and he cuts back, and, I mean, he gets a little bit, but, I mean, I don't see why you're doing that. You, you don't get cute when you're here. Yeah. You do what it takes to score. That's right. You know, they got that big number, 78, Aiden yeah. Miller. I don't know why they didn't just put him right yeah. on his hip. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put my hand on your butt, and I'm going to follow you in the end zone. Yeah, I'm going to fall right on top yes. of you in the end zone. Yes, you're going to knock somebody out. I'm going to go as they go under center here with 523 left. There's the handoff. It's to Jones. Oh, no, he's a keep. keep. He'll be keep by Vanna, and he's going to be in. And it gets through, so that's going to be with 5.17, the first score of the game there on a two-yard keep by Bannett. With 5.17 so far, that is the only score of the half, and so they're going to come out, and I believe they are going to try to kick the extra point here as they got a horde of people coming up. 5.17 with 5.17, 6 nothing here. It's like the number 12, Cordell Hurst. Yep, and this is a big play here. You know, you miss an extra point now. Theoretically, they're always pretty good. And that is Bannett back there who's actually going to kick it, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Quarterback, so you got to watch for that too. Yeah, well, actually, I tell you what, if you look at the roster here, it shows Cody Bannett and Cordell Hurst. They're both QBs. Wow. Is that going to be the snap? And it's going to be down. And that's going to be in by the right there. And we want to think hey, if you saw this, uh, we got Farmer Dan down there on the sideline. Yep, on the, on yep. The side he was line. on the sideline. So, Dan, is it Shedler? Shedler. Shedler, yeah, Shedler, Dan. Always, I call him Farmer Dan. <laughs> and uh, my, my daughter calls him Farmer Dan. He's our sideline guy. He came up, and thank you so much for doing that. And uh, thank you to our sponsors we got. That's how we pay for some of this stuff. We were able to get that. Um, Craig, is there uh, anything we need to really fundraise for here right now? Uh, that we need, really need not, to know? not at the moment. I mean, there's always stuff out there <laughs> that we, we have can get. We have a pledge get. drive. Yeah. We have a pledge drive of sorts. <laughs> want to give a big <laughs> shout-out to all of our sponsors here since we've got a, yes. a second. Um, you know, Jamie Sullivan, of course, our pregame sponsor, Washington County Community Foundation, who will bring us our halftime um, show Ryan Bat with United Producers, Gillstrap Motors there in Salem, Lynx Clothing and Shoes, uh, Michael Long with American Family, the Washington County Community, or sorry, the Washington County Substance Abuse um, Council, along with Busick Mechanical Services and Aaron Shockey with um, Farm Bureau Insurance. Big shout out to all of those people who um, sponsor us and allow us to bring you these games here at West yes. Washington and on the road too. So. Yep. Hey, and if you haven't purchased that all-access pass, yeah. do so. We bu we bought it at our house because I don't want to explain to my wife how to use codes and stuff. <laughs> you just point and click. It's a great thing. Yep. And once you log in, it keeps you logged in. Yes, so you can thank you. Roku works amazing. Yep. But man, it's going to be set to kick off here. Okay, in past years, this has been a big thing. This is How big of a mow would be a huge return here by the centers? Oh, this would be a huge thing. It's one of the things that the centers have always done really well is execute special teams very well, set that red wall, and get to moving. All righty, as Morrow's going to be under it. He's got the red C in front of him. It parts. He comes up. What a block there. And oh, my goodness. Nice hit there by Morrow. Like that broke was, about two tackles that was there. A, somebody lit somebody up there. That's that's called that's called a Saturday morning tape review. You get to see that. And so the center is going to be starting on their own 32-yard line, hoping to get a lot of those Aaron Shockey first downs yeah. brought to you by Farm Bueller Insurance. Mm -hmm. There we go. I got it. Thank you. That's a, it's a mouthful. It's a mouthful we got there. <laughs> so we got a lot of people there, and we are excited. Uh, you know, West Washington's got to get the ball moving. Oh, yeah. We've, we, the last two times down the field, we've we've stalled out. Um, you know, we just got to keep that momentum going. That offense that um, Coach Lowry runs, you're looking for three or four yards of time until you break one. He goes in. Yeah, right here. Oh, man, what it keeps it going, keeps it going. And you talk about making something out of nothing there. Jamison Collier was able to – he was dead to rights and – like the Undertaker at Survivor Series in 1995, he comes back from the dead and <laughs> you can't stop him. You know, and you, you see that a lot. Is we got two two wide receivers out here to our side and that pulls two of their yes. guys. That's we going to help us a lot with, especially we, with their size. We were we were calling for it over here. We were begging for it. We yeah. were begging for it. We saw it. We were hitting each other, and. That's all right. Going up the middle there is fine. Is that'll be set up here probably in a minute. That's what you do. It's like Nova Well, you know, you look at it. You look at Eastern's defense here. Their their safety's playing up pretty tight. Mm, and that is Jones right there on the tackle. Pretty big hit. Yeah, pretty yeah. big hit there. That is Temple, I believe, on the backside there. They covered both there as they were coming out. The yeah. Senators, uh, you know, the quarterback was taken uh, on two. On on two, and then the running back was also covered, so really nowhere mm -hmm. to go with the ball there. Jameson Collier was the pitch, and it, not a smart idea to pitch it when you're getting hit. Yeah, so. and that, we, we talked about broken plays and making the – sometimes that's okay. You live to play another down there, you know, not where the, the centers – it is, it's saying 
third and four. I think that's much more than four yards if you're asking yeah. me. Four and a half. Four and a half. You know, and some of that is if you could slow that play up a little bit and send those two wide mm -hmm. receivers deep, kind of gives you a little bit more space. Drops back for the pass. Like the pass, it's there. Nice catch. Uh, that is Isaiah Dennis. He's going. He's got one guy to beat, and he's pulled down right there at the 21-yard line. Nice, nice uh, pass and catch there by the Senators. Isaiah Dennis breaks that one for hey. 41, I think. Yeah, Gavin Hunt throws that one through a window. Yeah, because like I was talking about earlier, he, he's able yeah. to thread that in there, especially as yes. a, a junior. And, and Isaiah's not a big guy. He no. he has to hit him, and that was almost Darren Sproles-like. Yeah, that, for, he sent it right through two guys. Yep. Neither one of them got a hand on it. I'd love to see us go to the other side and do it again. Let's <laughs> 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 see what happens. You know, and the centers get on the ball pretty quick there. Oh, there's Collier up the middle. Oh, no, that's oh. going to be – oh, oh, oh. I didn't see the play, but it was beautiful. Looks like he kept it. He kept it. Yeah, he kept it. it they all bit on Collier getting yes, it. Yes, as did I. You know, some of that's going to be catching those guys on the heel of the ball. That was they got the ball a lot quicker that go around. And centers, they hey, do. they're they're marching here with 315. This is what we talk about. Now it comes to where it's that it's that finish them, pound. finish them. Yeah. It's kind of when you get there, it's that last heart. It's, 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 that, it's that last plate on Thanksgiving. you got to finish to be in the clean plate club. you got to do it right here. you got to get it. You know, and I, I know this, this senator offense, they run a lot of special things for these offensive linemen here. Oh, it's Coyer up the middle. Coyer's got his – oh, no, that's – Oh, oh, ball's, oh ball's loose, ball's loose. And that's going to be recovered right there. Eastern, that's going to be them as they – that ball bounced every which way except the centers is going to be picked up by number 56, Landon Rose, who's having a heck of a night there with already two tackles for a loss and a fumble recovery. You know, we talk about it, that momentum. Senators got it on the play with Isaiah Dennis, mm -hmm. and then right there we end up giving it back to Eastern and allow mm -hmm. that momentum to switch back over to them. Yeah, you know, two minutes, 45 seconds here. I look for Eastern to just kind of ground and pound. This is what – Really matters right here. Execution. You don't want to. You don't want anything stupid because exactly. then you give a. You give. You get the ball to start the second half. Yeah. Biggest thing is going to be getting our guys up there and getting stopped at four. So they're bringing Brody Temple in tight. So everybody's in tight except for number 15 for them. Caden Jones on the wide side of the field. And he's got the snap. It's going to be up the middle there. That's going to be a keep. He's got a. He's got a huge. He oh, gets – now he's taken tackle. down. That was – Morrow pulls him down. Yeah, right at the two, first down marker. 237, that'll stop the clock as they're going to move the chains. It looks like – or yep. So, nope, they are – whoa. They're – whoa. That, that, yeah, well, first one, off, it was not his one. fault. The yeah. gentleman on the side yeah, did that. Motioned so. it and told yeah. him to move. And that, thank you to our chain gang. I th who we got over there? I, I believe that's Jackson Cameron, Ian Rosenbaum. Tom Dennis Rosenbaum Tankersley. and Dennis Tankersley. Dennis Tankersley. All right there. Thank you to those guys out there helping out. I heard Joe Walker officially retired, he said, from the chains. Yep, yep, that's what I heard. So Joe, a former senator. Oh, wow, all kinds of stuff here. Yeah. What do we got here? Looks like a junior high dance there for a second. Okay. Uh, play clock, I don't know. Oh, wow. Go, man, did we just get a volleyball <laughs> redo? I, yeah, I don't know. I think so. <laughs> That's pretty. Right, well, we kind of know what's coming now. We All right, hey, we know coming. the play. Motion's coming. There's the goes. Here's going to be <laughs> another handoff up the Hand middle here. Middle. It's going to be – it's 201. He's going to be snuffed out right there at the 30. So, I mean, that's where you you kind of just got to stop him and don't let him get another first down. Hope you can do something. I mean, it, it, I, honestly, if Eastern does anything other handed to Jones here, it's pretty dumb. Yeah. Or have Bannett roll out with it. I don't even think you roll Bannett out no. with it because you don't want to get Well, hurt. they take Jones out. Oh, so. they take Jones out, so – Oh yeah, my. I think they're going to kind of try to save him yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Eastern guy lining up. He, he was four yards off line. Yeah. They're going to go the pitch. pitch. There you go. They'll push him outside. Yeah, we got a hold right. We had a block in the back. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah, we got it's, it. It's coming back. It's coming back. Uh, you know, and they ran that same play earlier when they yep. when they made that touchdown. Yep. I think that's going to be one of those things. Yeah. Is Somebody's going to have a hard time in the film room on Saturday or Monday. For sure. For yeah. sure. We don't give numbers in high school, but, you know, it's kind of you see that same thing over and over again. Well, and it was the same play. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm going to guess that it's number 78 asking the official there <laughs> what he's seen. <laughs> oh, goodness, that's fun. As you see that, so that's going to back him up. So, hey, you know, hey, we're one botched play here from something happening. I'm serious. Yeah. That's what I'm 
Yeah, I, I'm going to tell you, I've watched this. I, I've been here for eight years in this series. I've seen a lot of close games, especially here recently, especially with this group when they were freshmen for Eastern. They were a great group. I sat there at that day in that very, very hot you know, press box <laughs> at Eastern. I said, this is a good group. I have all respect. That's something you may not hit. You, you, you respect all and fear none, but and that's what you see. They have to just ground and pound with 22. Don't do anything else and they'll be fine. But they, they're, I don't want to, I'm not up here. It's maybe why I'm coaching, not coaching. I'm up here. <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? Looks like they're stacked up pretty they're hard stacked, on the right yeah. hand side here. Yeah. He's going to roll, roll out. out for a pass. Oh, my. He's got a oh, my. Oh, oh, my. It's going to be met. Man, and that's going to be, I think you take a timeout now if you're the Senators, make them think about it. Coach, coach, take a timeout. Has he got one? Is he going to take? Yeah, it's going to let it roll. With third and 14, then you make them. Then you take the timeout. I think you got one left is what we've got. I think he's going to try to make them get it off. Yeah. So they can. going to give us about 10 seconds. Yeah. So, my goodness, I still don't know what you're doing there. You hand it. If, if not Jones, then you go to the next guy. Yeah. And you just hand the ball off. Yeah. And you he's just. He's going to either force them to take another one or he's going to take one for yeah. us. Yeah. So, they're taking it slow. You can. As we see here, you know, you never know what a botch. And then you go to punt. You never know on the first week of the season. Yeah. You never, never know. know that ball gets snapped back there. Yeah. That's one of the things that the Eastern special teams really hasn't got out here to punt the ball. No. So, we'll see here as we're coming up. You know, we'll be at halftime in a couple seconds, but not before we have another play here. That ball is going to be – that's going to be Jones right there on the handoff. He's got – he's going to be dropped down, be brought though. Down there. There's and a timeout There's a timeout in. by Coach with 13 seconds left. Yeah, they're going to make so, him punt the ball away here. And I agree, Coach. It should be 13 on there. I think they kind of they got there. He got the timeout there. So, we'll see if they get ready. Uh, he had the official's eyes on him before the play was yeah. even over. Well, you know, and that's when you get, you know, as a coach and you're on the sideline, that guy, you're on him like white on rice. Yeah. And yeah. you're right there. Yeah, he told him. He knew it was coming. Yeah. As soon as he hits the ground, yes. go ahead and give it go to ahead, me. Yes. And it is hard, you know, and uh, – some of the technology that exists now and some of the ways they can actually stop the clock on the, the whist, with the whistle. whistle. Yeah. And uh, it's, you know, not to that level here in, you know, in the high corn. school. <laughs> in the corn. <laughs> but, you know, it's out there. Um, so, we, we got this first punt. What are you doing there, Doc Holiday? What are you doing? You know, I really look for Lowry to pull kind of something out of his back pocket here, especially because they got their first touchdown on. But uh -huh. I also know that he's got a lot of faith in his offense uh -huh. here. To be able to make sure that they execute this well, even if we get two or three more plays, mm -hmm. I know it's going to be quick to the ball. Try to catch them on their heels. So, do you bring the house? All you bring the whole house here because they're going to stack. They're going to stack every. They're going to do student body back there. You know, and I, another thing that I look for here is going to be one of those things is make sure that we execute. Yeah, I think he's going to bring full house. Yeah, at least once. Well, look at this. They are spread out real wide. I mean, so you, they're going to do that. They're going to put three protectors and. Real big. I mean, they're going to have the minimum number of guys on the line. As dude, I'm telling, I, I tell Trekker Subak he likes to run. I'm like, Trekker, run. Run. Just run. run. Just run, Trekker. Yeah. You know, and another big thing here is when these guys peel off of our, our, our defensive line is yeah. making sure that they're blocking without holding. Yep. I thought I heard a whistle there. Looks like Hayden's going to pick Hayden's this Hayden's going to pick it up. He's going to have He's going to have a full head of steam, too. Looks he's like going to be – oh, he's oh. got – that was a car's car. We got it. all we kinds got, of flags got, here, though. All kinds of flags. He's he ain't gonna, going down. He ain't going down. So we'll have an on-time down. Yeah, probably. we'll have an on-time down because it can't end on end a on that man. Penalty. They ripped his head back. Yeah, one of those guys was pouring pretty hard on him there. So we'll see here. Yeah, we're gonna have an. Un we should have an on-time down because yeah. you can't end on a and defensive penalty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's too bad you can't make him re-kick. <laughs> <Right? laughs> <laughs> you just kick him. You just never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, you know, I always. I coached junior high for many years, and I just went for it on fourth down rather than try to punt. <laughs> um, you know, and, and that's one of the things when you're playing high school ball here. Yeah. It, it plays out a little bit yeah. different. Um, it's definitely one of those things that Eastern could have probably got away with it. Yeah. We've got um, actually two flags on the field. Yeah, there's one. But now is is – we, we couldn't have done anything back there, I think, because that was Hayden. The only back. thing I would have been able to see would have been a block in the back. back. Us, us, okay. And then we got a personal foul. That's going to offset, and that's going to end the half. Mask. Will that end the half, though, offsetting or first down? We're yep. Gonna, yep. yep. One untimed down. One time, time, time down. Hook and ladder here. There, uh, <laughs> twi tweeters, tweeter out there. 
Billy Bob, you ready for this? Yeah. Interested to see what uh, Andrew Burks has to play as far as calling in here. Especially so, being because it's one on each side, it's a re-kick. Ooh, I like it. As I like a it. untimed I, down. So, I they like can it. take it and literally kneel on it. Yeah, they could. And that ends. But they still got to get the snap back there. So, that's good. You know, we had a pretty big blow up back there yeah. last time we were going around. Here they go. They're bringing their offense Yeah, they're bringing their in. offense in. They're going yeah, to take, take a knee. knee and finish this half. Yeah. So that'll take us pretty well to our halftime show brought to you by the Washington County Community Foundation. Correct. Make sure you listen to that. We'll have some scores. We'll try to do some scores. Um, not a lot of stats in this first yeah, no. to really talk about. So we'll try to do that for you. And we got an interview with Tyler Miller, number 32 for the Senators. They're going to be just taking a knee here. And there's the snap. And that's what Bannett's going to do. And that's going to bring us to half. And so it's 7 nothing here at Art Sanders Field. And we're going to head to the West Washington, excuse me, the Washington County Community Foundation halftime show. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Welcome to West Washington Livestream. I'm Brad Mills. I'm joined by one of our seniors today, number 32, Mr. Tyler Miller. Tyler, thanks for joining me. Um, he's very nervous about this interview, you told me. So um, good news is when he's on the football field, he's not nervous. So we're very happy that I've got to watch Tyler play all um, four years here in, uh, at West Washington. So it's really cool that we could spend our half times talking, talking to uh, Tyler and uh we're going to be uh, asking him some questions. Tyler, uh, what are your expectations for this season? What are, the, what are you guys looking for? Uh, we're looking to have a pretty good season here. Uh, just wanting to go out there, do our best, try to win sectionals, you know, have a great season, play with great mentality, have a full heart, just go out there and play ball. You know, this is, you know, you're a senior, so people say this is, in air quotes, you know, your team. So, you know, full heart, given, given that all you got and stuff like that. Um, you're out there. I know you're leading, you know, defense. You're out there on offense in a lot of different spots, moving around. Uh, you've got a lot of different guys this year. Um, anybody really stepped up for you and shown you, you know, as maybe even us underclassmen or, you know, some of your fellow classmen, who's really helped you out this fall? Uh, Jack Armstrong, he's been, definitely been a big help. He's stepping up, doing what he needs to do. He's always been like that. He's a great person to be around, great teammate to have. It's always good to hear. So, you know, we talk about, you know, other people, but what about one of your personal accomplishments that you've had throughout the uh, – or maybe a team accomplishment that you've had during your four years here at West Washington? Just being able to go play with, you know, they're, everybody's like family on the football team. They're, they're my brothers. I've always loved going out there and being able to play with them and then making a run at sectionals with everybody. 
And that's a big thing for you guys because you came in after some sectionals and regionals. You want to add your own little thing. You know, you've got a county title under your belt, but you want something bigger probably. And, you know, you got the new sectional this year. We got some new teams in there we're talking about. I know we still want to win conference too. That is something you always you want to go. And you got Eastern this week, and they're, uh, that's a, that's one that they've had on their – their seniors have that on their, their calendar. So your seniors – have you guys had this on your calendar too? Have you been ready for this one, or, have you, or I bet you're about ready to just ready to hit somebody else? Yeah, we're pretty much ready to be able to play someone else rather than ourselves. You know, scrimmaging and stuff like that. But we're ready to go out there, play Eastern, and give it our all. And when you watch Tyler on the field, something that's very good. He's a very good teammate. And he points that out as we go. Um, he does have some enthusiasm. His first career touchdown, I could tell somebody was arguing with me in the booth that it wasn't him who scored. And I said, yeah, that's the guy who scored his first career touchdown because he was very happy. And uh, I can always tell you he's always – I call you a Swiss Army knife. And, the and you know, a Swiss Army knife has so many different functions. And you have that. Is there one part of football that you really enjoy the most? I just love being out there, being able to play the sport still – you know, go out there and have fun doing it all and being with the people I am with around every single day. So That's good. You know, he can he can hit you with a heck of a block or a big tackle or a big gain. He can do it a lot of ways. So he struggled with this. You know, he says that he can't – I asked him this question before because, you know, these kids get a little antsy about his favorite Coach Lowry moment, and uh, he can't remember it. Um, well, what's here, – here, let me ask is, what's Coach mean to you just as a, as a player? Just – Having him around, it's just, you know, it just gets us fired up. It gets us ready to, for season, for games, for practices, whatever. He's just great to have around. I remember one thing he said, it's always, he never said, let's be good. It's let's be great. Let's always go out there and give it our best. It's just be the best we can, do great things. And that's how we're going to leave this interview, Tyler. Um, you can now rest easy. This is the hard part. When people are going to be listening to this, you're going to be doing what you love and you have that. So um, thank you, Tyler Miller. He was the first uh, one to go. So he's our player to watch tonight out on the field for the Senators. So um, we're going to go back to the booth. Thank you guys so much. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. And another year, Commissioner, I'm so glad you're with us, and uh, it's always ha great to have a conversation with you. You as the commissioner of the IHSAA. Boy, Coach, it's here, and it does seem like a very short time that you and I closed up the commissioner's corner for the year, but let's open this thing back up this year, and, and let's have some fun along the way talking about these kids. That's absolutely the idea. Everyone realizes that Friday, the 23rd, is the beginning of high school football, week number one, about 190 games. Uh, it just continues to grow and grow, I think, uh, on Friday night. The excitement, uh, the pageantry, the involvement of kids and communities and schools just continues used to uh, be incredibly popular around our state. It does, Coach. And, you know, one of the things, I just looked at some uh, statistics today, and across the nation, high school football is still growing, uh, and it's up significantly. And, you know, it's it just shows that there's still a lot of interest in the game, uh, you know, and that goes everywhere from the student athletes that get to put the jersey on and play the game to the fans. You know, if the fans weren't showing up and supporting the high school team, I don't know that we'd see growth in sport 
uh, especially participation numbers of our student athletes. So uh, very exciting news about the health of high school football across the country and in and especially the state of Indiana. Yeah, and as we get ready to start, we always look around and everybody's trying to figure out who's who's good, who's favored, this, that, and the other. It's hard to repeat as champions in our state in any sport. It's especially difficult uh, to do in football because teams continue to get the, the sports growing, but teams in our state seem to be getting better and better, uh, more competitive, and I think more balanced throughout all of the classifications. It does. It, you know, it goes from, you know, top to bottom. And I know, you know, the people in South Bend or, you know, the region or Lafayette, you know, you can pick a corner in the state and, you know, everybody's working hard to get better. And I think we see that, you know, coaches are, again, they're just spending all kinds of time developing student athletes, but we do see parity in football. And I think we've seen parity continue to grow in the last couple of years. Uh, and that's, you know, again, why the game, we believe, is in is in pretty good shape. And, and, and you know, Coach, any time in our business, we have new people who get to enjoy some success along the way. Mm-hmm. It really increases interest, and it's just good for the game. We're talking with Paul Neidig, the commissioner of the IHSA. And, Paul, in addition to high school football getting started Friday night, and also we've already begun uh, boys' tennis, girls' golf, soccer, volleyball. Everything's about to get underway or is underway in the fall sports schedule. We have participation and it, it's all started again the the dreams are still there we got you know girls golf has been going for actually two weeks now it won't be long coach a couple of shows from now we'll be talking about the state championship in girls golf once we get started the season goes fast but uh, the tournament comes quick and you know we'll be doing our pairing show here later on this year and talking about celebrating thanksgiving and and the football state championship in the same weekend but before then we have a lot of games to be played and a lot of games to be a Officiated, and you know, I do want to give a shout out to our officials, coach, who who just do it for the the betterment of the game. And it, it's really the same thing about when they got to play high school sports. They love the game so much that mm-hmm. they're willing to to go out there, take criticism that's unjust, unfair, and still come back and officiate for these student athletes. And I always say we need to we need to thank them and continue to thank them understand that they're a human being they won't be perfect uh, not capable of being perfect but parents get to watch because officials choose to officiate and, and i'm just thankful for them and the work that they do also thankful for all you and your staff do and all the member institutions do around the state he's the commissioner of the ihsaa paul knighting week one of high school football everyone get out support your teams having some fun and do it the right way paul thanks for your time i'll look forward to our conversation next week Thanks, Coach, and it's always a highlight of my week. We'll do it again here. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. In 2015, we launched the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project. With the assistance of several local donors and sponsors, along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation, we finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. My name is I am uh, Brad Mills. I, def- I am Ron Burgundy. There we go. <laughs> there he goes. I forget who I was for a second there. Um, as we are here at halftime. Mr. Mr. Holiday, what do you think about this first half here, impressions that you've seen? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of really good enthusiasm from both halves here. 
A uh, little bit of non-play executing, uh, some flags thrown on the play there the first half. Uh, all against Eastern. Uh, I think we only had one there towards the end of the, the half. The actual last play of the half. Yeah, yeah, we caught a block in the back on us. Um, definitely think that we're going to see some different stuff uh, from the Lowry standpoint uh, coming out this half, especially means we're getting stopped a little bit on our run. So I look for a few more balls to come up in the air. Craig, anything you saw in the first half really you stands know, it, out to you? It's one of those we played really well and had just turnovers where – it, it hurt us. You know, we turn the ball over, we get the ball back, and then we fumble it and give it back to them. Um, same thing down on the other end. We're making a, a run, we're making a drive, and then we end up giving it back. That's the that's the trouble that the Senators have had, you know, and it's something that we can clean up. It's, it's not a clean ball handoff and not securing the ball properly. If we clear that up, we're going to be in, in, you know, pretty good shape. And that's what they're going to have to do here is the Senators only down 7 nothing. However, they will be kicking off here to start the second half. We got lots of scores. Um, to go here on the West Washington Community Foundation halftime show. Um, over at the Salem, it was 14 to 6 14 at half six, over uh, yep. North Harrison. Um, we had some other scores. Um, we go, uh, we'll go with the PLAC scores first. Uh, Switzerland County have 32 nothing on Crawford County. Um, Springs Valley have 25 nothing on uh, their playing Eastern Green tonight, I believe is what it said. Um, lots of scores. I'm sitting here as I'm scrolling through the whole state as Trident Central up 14 to seven on Batesville. Um, we got, I believe that's Franklin Central versus Noel May seven to three there. Um, all scores um, that we're looking at here, as I, as I sit here, I apologize, I had them all pulled up and uh, we got North, North Vermillion up 28 nothing over North Central. Um, we were talking a lot about how our sectionals change. There's gonna be a lot of teams that we're gonna have to kind of look for. Um, we're going kind of east yeah. in a way. I'm kind of glad we're not going too far <laughs> west. I think there's some possibility, but not. we're not going to be over in that central time zone. Right. Uh, Craig and I have been to a lot of places. Uh, we've been some really cold, rainy, wet places in sectional. Um, North Decatur um, in our sectional now, along with Milan. And, uh, you know, we look at ourselves there. Uh, drop Providence. Uh, so we've got that as we're going to possibly go up to that direction. Um, very interesting when I was talking to Coach Newton that uh, – Eastern is only 12 students away from being a, a single-A school, he told me. Wow, that's so, very shocking. That is, when you think about it, it's historically there. You know, and as West Washington has uh, kind of grown in numbers and kind of been a destination here, and uh, if you are looking, I guess, for a great school, we all work there, so yeah. it's all good. We've got connections. Uh, our kiddos all go here with us, so it's uh, it's one of those things we have, and uh, the centers, uh, it's Senator Nation is proud. You know, outside of the score right now, 7 nothing. it's going to be in this first five minutes of the second half who really has the grit. Yeah. And I sit here and I've told them, I think you, if, if Eastern tries to get too cute with what they're doing, it will hurt them. I think that they kind of got to keep it simple. But I do think the centers have to come back. They have to have some, they have to have some energy. They have to have some pride here. Um, and they got to make something happen pretty early. You know, as you were talking about enthusiasm, we watch Eastern guys out here, and then we watch our guys down here on the other end jumping up and down, ready to go, get this second half kicked off here, and definitely get the ball in the end zone. I know it's one of those things that they're all yeah. – Biting at the bullet for I'm sure they had plenty of talk in the in the locker room. So I'm interested to see how this half kicks off. So we're going to be kicking off here to start the second half as as Eastern deferred to the second half here. Um, a lot of offense, especially on some on some plays that were you know the centers kind of gift wrapped two or three you know real easy possessions there for the Musketeers and the centers got some stops and back and forth back and forth that we've seen here. Nobody's really had a huge like blow up play the only one that was was called back for a touchdown there yeah yeah it was actually kind of offset i kind of wish we would have got that play out been able to get that ball up in the air and at least give us a shot and i tell you what we see a lot of you know a lot of injuries and that's what alex williams i really wish we could see him out there for centers i think he's a kid we saw his he sees the field and he goes really really hard after it when he's out there and that's something you have to kind of have in especially these early early games where it's kind of hot you just Who's going to be your guy who's going to grind it out for you? You know, and that's one of the things is we've always done well being a, a little bit of a smaller school, but yet growing, is make sure our guys are healthy. I know he's probably gotten in an ice bath mm -hmm. two or three times this week already or yeah. at least icing that ankle every day. And that's a hard one. You know, the, yeah. ankle's the ankle is the absolute worst. It's one of the worst injuries. It just lags with you. Next to turf toe. Yeah, and it really gets to you. I, I think you see. Keep you down all season if you don't if you don't take care yeah. of it right away. So that, I mean that's one of the things. We're in week one here. Definitely want to keep him getting back to healthy 100. percent That way we're good to go. Come roll in in PLAC and, and sectional time. So uh, 
the centers will be kicking off there. Gavin Hunt, um, just like Cody Bannon on the flip side, will be kicking off. And uh, he's got a beautiful leg. He kicks the ball real well. I noticed that when he came over last year. He was uh, somebody who uh, could kick really well. Um, I, let me real quick, Doc Holliday, what do you think about the future of all this kicking off, like is what we're seeing in the NFL? Uh, you know, is I, it going to be dr trickling down to the high school level soon? No, nah, I don't think it will go that deep. I think it's, it's one of those things is – those guys are so much more advanced, and it's uh -huh. pushing so much more pressure against the the professional game. Yeah. Uh, it's changing consistently because they, they're changing their rules yeah. nonstop, especially with everybody getting hurt. At Beautiful that, that kick, age. and that's going to be filled by Bannett there at the 15-yard line. He's got a head of steam, but he's going to be popping up, and he's going to be driven down right there. About the 30-yard line. Yeah. Trekker Suvac on the tackle. It looked like alongside um, Jamison Collier. So here, yeah. You know, kind of going back to what you were saying, you go from uh, these guys out here hitting about 200, 230 <laughs> to a guy that's yeah. seven foot four, weighing about 300 and something. If you get hit by one of those guys, it hurts. I yeah, when you, when, you, when, when, when you get up there and Aiden Miller's a little guy. Yeah, you know. he's one of the little guys. Um, you know. I, I worked at Ball State under the athletic training program there, and I remember seeing the guys and thought they were huge. My friend Justin Sire, then we, I, we played Iowa. And uh, let's just say Iowa was a lot bigger than yeah, us. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I think a lot of that's just to keep these people healthy. Yeah. And it goes bigger and bigger. As Bannon takes the snap. He's going to hand it off to Jones. Jones up the right side. He's going to drive down for about a three-yard gain. It'll be second and about seven on the 40, 35-yard line there. You know, it looked like some pretty good execution there by our D line. It could, kind of took him a little while to get to the front line. Mm -hmm. He was kind of looking and scanning, kind of slowed him up a little bit. So I think that's definitely some good execution on their half. And, and I brought that up. He's he's one of those guys who wants to drop his head, which is dumb. Yeah. First off, you always keep your head up when you run. But like you know, he wants to go and just yeah. They go. were able to close that hole up that he was looking for, and he just had to wait for it to open. A lot of seniors on this Eastern team, so they are going to be. Uh, um, enjoying this year, it's going to be. Yeah, for sure. I see a bunch of 12s as yeah. we're rolling through the roster there. And that's going to be a snap. That's going to be inside handoff. Stop, wow. Right. Immediately, nobody got there. That 71. was great. That is, that is Clooney there as he comes up. Clooney, Clooney's rem there. Clooney was reminiscent of a guy from the U. Yeah. With that <laughs> shirt hanging yeah. out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw a name out there, okay? Warren Sapp. Yep. Just, just, just reminds me of old Warren Sapp there, you know. And I'm trying to remember Warren's number at Miami. It was something real crazy. Well, wasn't he it? he wore a couple of different ones. Yeah. Um, he was also known to have his jersey ripped. You ripped, yeah. So those guys had their bellies hanging out. It was good times. All righty, Miami. What are they in? Like the Mountain West now or something? <laughs> They're all uh, over the place. I know. It's all right. You got a little bit of a different defense coming. Yeah. From Coach Gibson out. Oh man, that's gonna be. Van's gonna keep it this out. side. He's gonna be dropping, dropping. He's got a man in the flats. That's Jones. Nice tackle. And that's going to be dropping him at about the 38-yard line. That's going to set up about a fourth and two. So very manageable there for the Musketeers. You know, yeah. I think this is going to be one of those things they're just going to hand it off. Yeah, this is three. this is going to be no limit soldiers here. They're going to go for it, and uh, they're not going to back down. What we have to do is hope to get cause something right at the line. You know, that, that's what I was kind of trying to get at right there before that play kicked off. Coach Gibson out here brought a little bit of a different defense mm -hmm. out this second half. He's running one free safety here and, and just two DBs. He's running an entire full back uh, background as far as his linebackers and bringing one more lineman to the front. Okay, so they got Jones, but we talked about Bunja Ball. He's back there. He's got a – he's been the recipient of it. I don't know if they'll get that cute and go to the left side here, but it looks like Jones is going to get it. He's going to dive, and it's going to be a first down. So – Call it pretty quick. I, I could I could tell you before the ball was snapped there. That's just you know that's just one of the three guarantees in life right now. Death taxes and he's probably going to get that first down. Yeah, that, that's one of the things that Coach Gibson. He, as you look there, number 25, he's lined up his nose. That's one of those big big positions. That, a big game changer, uh -huh. especially when you're going into a defense or an offense like we're playing right now. So now. This first down is huge. First and second down are so huge because you have to put the teams behind the sticks. Yep. You can't allow them to have this. As we're going to see that. And they've given Jones a lot. I think he's not going to get the ball here. I think they're going to probably try to get somebody else involved, give him a breather. Now, I hope the centers can get up the middle here. As you see, like you said, they're pinched. There's the motion to the right. They're going to go. Oh. Flag on the play. Yeah. A lot of movement. I think we had two guys in motion. I saw the guy on the right. And then, yep, false start. Yep. So, hey, there we go. That's there the, that's the That is we talk about. You know, you put yourself behind this. And when you're on this side of the 50, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, you get a first down, yeah. But you're you still. You know, we've, we've always called it downhill from there. Yes. 
So right there, that's a, that's a great play. Now, you don't give that. So with this defense that Coach is going, do you think they'll still leave those flats open for the running backs to, in those flare routes there? You know, I think that's one of the things that our linebackers have to make sure that they're executing and they're covering those flats, mm -hmm. especially with our – I mean, our, Bannett's deep when he gets it. He rolls deep. He's he not, does. He's, yeah. rolling, he's rolling deep. Yeah, he, he's making you want to drop back yes. a little farther. He, he may only throw There's it. the pitch to the outside. That's number 16, Lewin, when he's got it. It's going to be brought down. And brought down. Not, it doesn't even reach the original line of scrimmage. Where is that spot at? I'm trying to find is uh, the ball is everywhere. But okay, wow. It's about the <laughs> maybe 40, 42 yard. 42 yard line. line. <clears throat> Apologize there. So looking, at, I saw the man in the white hat, yeah. and then yeah, the head official. Head official. And then we're trying to find the the where it's at is Coach Lowry and Coach Gibson bringing in. I'd say maybe something here to this right side. They're going to be bringing a little stunt, something because this is going to be the wide side of the field. They've got Temple over here, and they've got Aiden uh, bought up. Bo uh, Budorf. That's a little bit of a different. Uh, yeah, look. Yeah. And see, he hasn't been wide. Got Brody Temple over here on this side. That's going to be know, right there. Kind of There's the pitch. Things. There's the key. Oh, man, there was a lot of jersey grab right there. Nice tackle by Hayden Morrow coming yep. in up from the free safety position there. Yep. We called it. We saw something different. We should have known it was coming. We yeah. didn't We didn't adjust. And that's going to be, once again, a very manageable third down. So what do you think they're going to do here, Doc? What do you think? Well, I think they're going to keep <laughs> ground and pound. I mean, it's yeah. a no-brainer. You're third down and one. one. I think it's one of those yeah. things you just go ahead and get the first yeah. down and repeat your downs. Yeah. That way you don't have to fight with it. Make sure that you execute well. Yeah. No more flags. Yeah. Uh, but also, I was going to say on this last go-around, I think one of the things that we're, we're going to struggle a little bit is being a little more aggressive and more hands-on out of here on our external when they're running these sweeps and things like that. Yes. Bannon under center. He's looking. He's got, he's, he's got Jones behind him. In motion goes Lewin. There's, There's a, flag. Flag. a flag. All righty. And that's going to be, yeah, first down. But once again, we got a little cute. Got a little cute. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When you're in that, you yeah. give it to a guy who's going to get three or four yards. Yep. You don't get you don't get cute. And then it's yeah. so much easier. Don't, don't break from outside of what's working. No. First and ten, do it again. Yeah, you know, that's exactly. what you do. Yep. And. It is one of those things. Yeah, this may have changed the entire the look, momentum of the yes, game. Yes, because that's going to push them back. Yeah, they're going to be behind the 50 now. And we, like, we talked about how deep that Bannett likes to get. He's going to roll. Yeah. He might try to get this with his legs or make a pass, yeah. but he's going deep. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of guys there that can come through and make a hit. Our linebackers are going to stay. That is one thing. Our linebackers are staying home. So it's going to be our defensive lineman's goal to get in there and cause that havoc. Yeah, you know, with them coming back like this, I look for him to, to run to the wide side of the field there. Um, I really don't look for a drive up the middle. I think it's going to be one of those things. Our yeah. defensive end on that side is going to really have to seal it off, knock out that power, and keep it from going anywhere. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Martin's a big guy, but then you go to the next guy, Briar Martin. He's he's not a big guy. You go up to the middle there in 70, uh, 77, Mike, uh, Micah Turker. You've got, a, you've got some guys you can get around and cause some havoc. Full back in the backfield there, trips to the left. Right. Holds it. He's going to pass. He's going to pass. He's, he's going to pressure. Ball's away. Ball's away. Great play. All right. Game changer. Game changer. Hey, Get, sometimes it's simple. You know, that was one that they threw right at his feet, uh -huh. you know, to keep it so that mm -hmm. it, he was going to get tackled for a loss of, you know, 12 to 15. Yeah. yeah. You know, to keep this ball away, they, they may, I would think that they're going to come out and punt this ball. You know, it, it's one of those things you got to keep it from pulling you back any farther. They're going to try to pin the Senators deep here and make well, them drive all the way down the field. Well, you also have the ability if, if, if you see something, you got Bannett back there as, as your – as your punter, you know, he sees some. They're going to stay on the field. They are going to run their offense. Yeah, it's, I mean, you're talking four yeah. or five yards here. Yep. Oh, man, huge play. Huge play. Huge play here. You know, right here is where center has got to be disciplined. I'm telling you what, Brandon All on the left line. side. Brandon All has to be ready. It's going to be a delay a game or a delay timeout. Game. Timeout because they were getting ready to get a delay yep. a game. And, hey, earmark that, too. That's a timeout that you burn on a play that you, really once didn't again, need to. didn't need to because you should have ran the ball for two yards yeah. and gotten it there. Yeah, you've lost, you've lost downs. And a timeout in a possession here. Yeah. I mean, all three of those things. In this point in the year, you do this simple stuff. Yeah. Just like when you're in, like, sectional championships, regional championships. Stick to what works. It, it is, and it goes. It, it goes to that point where we sometimes – I think it's the Hollywood effect of – the NFL effect, let's say. Yeah, for, for sure. Part. You see these kids. You see even some of the younger coaches. Yeah. They're watching this stuff. They want to try it on their own, uh -huh. on their own group. But when it breaks down, and you're playing high school football here. 
You go with what works. We, you take those two yards and you start over. I coached the a junior high team here, and we practiced the Philly special all week. Yeah, of course. You know what? We scored four touchdowns on an ISO. You know, and the, and the kid, <laughs> yeah, you know? the kids love to do those yeah. kind of plays. Yeah. And it's great to it's run great. in practice. Yeah. It, but at the same it's time, time, if you're in a situation where you have yeah. to do it, and then normally the yeah. only time you really see that is come sectional time yeah. or a big rival. Yeah, or you need a two point. Coach Rowler and I were talking about that with uh, when he was at Paley at Trident Central. It was in the middle of a rainstorm. He said he needed a two point conversion play. They had one they practiced all year. Yeah. And that's when you do it. Yep. So right here we go, man. I cannot. I am. I. You know, I look for a power to the yeah, right hand side. Here. I do. I, I think so. Brandon Alt's over back. there. They're going to go, and our linebacker is not up on the ball. They're going to go their way. It's going to be Jones to that side. He's going to cut it up. He's got a guy off. He's going to be around the corner. He's got a first down. He's got more. He's going to be driving out right there at the 25. Huge. You're right, Co. You're right there, Doc. Right there. Yeah. What they needed. Give it to that trusted yep. trusted senior running back. Yep. Make sure that he gets the down. You know, this game means a lot to him. Yep. I'm sure he has some friends that go over here to West mm -hmm. Washington. It's going to be a lot of bragging rights to well, him that's what get this in the end zone. That's what Coach TJ Newton talked about. They've had it on there. You know, this is their sectional championship yeah, probably. Yeah, for sure. They're looking at right here. They're looking, you know, and this is week one. So, and it is – it is a big thing we got to see. Can the Senators kind of reload here, cause something? That defense has been on the field this entire quarter. Yeah. And they've had it. They've had them quite a few times. Yeah. So they've yeah. got You know, an Eastern shot themselves in the foot there, but they also were able to come back and capitalize mm -hmm. on that. There's going to be the inside handoff, number 24 there. Reicher, he's going to get a small game. But once again, well, he's built like a bowling ball. He ain't is, he? yes. And you know what? In in bowling, sometimes you can pick up a spare pretty easily. You yep. get that first, you know, six or seven pins down. Yeah. And that's what he did there. So he's going to be. It's going to be second and six so from got the 79. Is that Rolo coming Rolo's off? Rolo's coming off. There, he's kind of hopping a little bit. We've had a lot of guys hopping today as we're going. So let's see what we can do here. It's like a trainer is going to bring him over and yeah. check him out. Yeah. So. Look and see what he's got, but that's going to take a lot of, of, of body up the middle there. And they've got Jones. Oh, they're off. pulling icy hot out. Yeah. He must be cramping up. That's oh, one of the man. things that I was saying yep, there got, earlier in the before the game even started is making sure that we get these guys hydrated. I know it's going to be one of the things going all the way through all these weeks. There we go. There's the pitch to the outside. Full head of Steve Bongeball with the ball. He's going to cut up. Oh, man. And I, I saw a block in the yep, back back here. Yep. And we were. We also were on our heels there as I'm yeah. sitting there right before the play. When he is in motion, he's getting the ball typically. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's fast enough. He's going to be able to break that corner. And that's he's why it makes a big ordeal over here is being hands-on with our DBs. It's going to be a first and a third and one, sorry, as we look there. And this is where they get a couple yards. They just try to get a couple yards. It's huge. You know, I think a lot of this has been a momentum game going so far. You know, yeah, and Eastern's it's a, been able to move the ball versus where Senators are having a little bit of trouble finding a way to stop them. Yeah, your pursuit angles have to be perfect in a lot of times, and your 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 assignments have to be perfect a lot of times, and that's when you see the difference here. Bannock takes it. He's going to hand off to 24. Reacher. Reacher goes up the middle. He's going to get a couple, and that's going to be a first down. That's going to be about up to the – looks like about the 24. Four-yard line there, 504 left. Musketeers leading seven nothing. They've been in control this whole quarter. They have had controlled it the entire quarter. As we've got another play over here on the sidelines, cramping up for the centers and Tyler Miller. It looks like, and so we need bring some potassium. We need some potassium down there yeah. on the sideline. Yeah, bringing out the stick. The stick is broke out, so they can get them good and. All of them are cramping up in their calf muscles. You yeah, know, it's, it's one of those things. That these guys are gonna have to make sure that they get hydrated throughout well, the week while they're at school. Yep, it's it's a thing. I wish we could almost put put everybody in IV before you get out here. <laughs> yeah, ban it there. It's gonna be Jones getting the ball here to the left side. There's the motion. Yep, no, Ban's gonna keep it. He's gonna go behind. And he's gonna have some. Yeah, he's got a lot. He's got his legs taken out from under him, but not before. Down by Hay tomorrow. Yep. So it'll be. There's it'll be, another cramp from the Eastern players. Yeah, and then so now it's an outbreak. Yep. It was only a matter of time when it happened. It yep. started now, to cool off a little bit out there, and yep. all their muscles are starting to tighten up now. And now we also see, too, is the uh, the Musketeers are going to have to play both ways on this. Yeah, and that that's why like it's, it's going to be If we could somehow games. get a stop, that's what I'm saying. If we yeah. could somehow get a stop and then we turn around on offense, there's some guys over here for us that are fresh and ready to go. Yeah, and you know, it's going to be huge. one of those things that I, I think that they're going to have to br bring in their Cordell Hurst, their backup yeah. QB. Uh, it's yep. going to be one of those things that we, it's going to be a moving forward. He's been on the field, thankfully, during the game, so that's been some, but haven't really seen anything out of him yet. Yeah, we're going to step aside for a quick commercial break. You're listening to West Washington Livestream, simulcast on WWSR, the official home of West Washington Athletics. 
Are you looking for a great HVAC person that's also local? Somebody who's from here in Southern Indiana? Then look no further than Mike Music and Music Mechanical Services, located in Paoli, Indiana. They offer a wide variety of services, including not only maintenance, but repairs on all of your heating and cooling needs. Got an ice maker on the fritz? They can help you with that. How about a commercial chiller or freezer? They've got your back. Is your boiler on the fritz? They can help you with that too. They even work on outdoor furnaces. Best of all, they're located right here in Paley, Indiana. Give Mike a call at 812-498-1736. Don't worry, Mike Busick knows every aspect of the HVAC maintenance inside and out. Mike is a problem solver and can get all your equipment up and running like new, whether it's summer or winter. Then Mike is your guy. Music Mechanical Services, HVAC done right, Paley, Indiana. 812-498-1736. Welcome back to Art Sanders Field here on West Washington live stream. Simulcast on WWSR, I'm Brad Mills. Uh, beside me, I've got Doc Holiday himself, Evan Holiday, and i got Mr. The Wizard, the Wizard of Is, if ever Wizard where there was, or the Wizard over there you can watch because they're doing that all weekend over in the thing is uh, Mr. Craig Akers. And uh, so the the first real big injury of the night goes down. It's in the Musketeers as their starting quarterback goes out. So Cordell Hurst, the sophomore, is going to be in for this. What do you think? Doc? I'm really interested to see He's only been out <laughs> on the field one time during a, a – Extra point. Yeah. Do you think he just hands it off to Jones? That's what I would do. Uh, I think that's going to be kind of the, the way the Musketeers go here. Is I'm sure they've ran it a thousand times yeah. in practice. A lot of it's going to be jitters. Yeah. You know, Let's it's I mean, probably been the first time. He may be starting for the first time as a varsity start here. That ball, he's going to be a slow pitch. After bunch of ball, he's got a hole. He's going to be There's in the, the end flag. zone. He's going to be in the end zone, but we got a flag it's coming back. coming back. back. Coming back, so Bonjabal is going to have his second touchdown of the night pulled back, I think. And there's all kinds of celebration, yeah, but celebrating. it's going to be. So, as you saw the center there, and Micah Tucker's like, guys, uh, bring it back. <laughs> yeah. So, Doc, Actually, looks like you, we Doc, Doc were, you, were you a lineman, or what, were you, what was your position? I played uh, free safety, and then I played a little bit of outside uh, linebacker. That's kind of the, the floater the there, floater. a little bit of DB. Uh, I, my junior year, I played safety year all year long wow this uh, is going to be huge yeah this is going to be huge backup quarterback yeah you got the backup quarterback in you know you got a play that gets broken but we have still not had the ball yeah <laughs> four, our defense is still on there so you know they got to be wearing down yeah the defense is on the field but you know what they have they've been but they've not broken yet yeah so yeah. that's huge because if you and that's just we are one huge play away from tying this up you know what? And I, I'd say if we did get a it's touchdown. Like it's about second and 13. Coach Lowry will go for two, and he'll <laughs> take the lead. As we see there is Cordell Hurst, the sophomore backup quarterback, is in. He's going to be looking this time. Will he just try to hand it off? There's Bonjabal in the motion. The it's going to be a, oh, an inside, inside, inside handoff. He's got a wide open. He's going to be in the end zone for a touchdown. And nobody's got him. Man, I tell you, and everybody, some including that, the band, bit on that one. Yeah, some of our guys not staying home on that one. And that's going to be huge. No, that is a backbreaker for the Senators there as Loon just, uh, just got it and he cuts back and he had pay dirt. You could have fit two or three RVs over there on that right side. You know, and that's one of the things is when you're running that wing tee, you can kind of hide those short guys. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it was Ferris who played with you. Uh, yep. He, he was, was one of our short guys. We was, hit him all the time. He hit him all the time as they're going to kick the extra point here. His bandit is back on. Apparently he's – He's taking some pickle juice, and he's good to go. Yeah, it looks like we'll probably see a little bit more of him come that's next same. set of downs. There you go. That one's going to be wide. Oh, that's, that's 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 what I would have done up there. Well, you know, he come out, he went out with a leg injury, so yep. you know he's probably still a little bit of sore. I mean, I'd get I'd get Aiden, I'd get Aiden Miller out there. He's a big old guy. Have him toe bash it and yeah, see what happens. You no, know, I mean it's one of those things. He's going to be one of the last players off the field. Yeah, he's still you struggling can tell to get he's off. He's getting a little being a little tired. Well, you know, and that's going to be huge. And so the centers have to make an adjustment here. They've got to make a score. Um, some we we just really haven't gotten. It's almost like we've been kind of if you've. You're driving a car and you can't get it out of second or third gear. Yeah, we can't. Sometimes you got to force it. Force it and like so we might have to grind some gears here as we look. You know, the centers. This is a young team still, and this it is, is something you yeah, look at. It's one of those things. That I think we only had four seniors out there yeah. total. Um, that's with a lot of juniors backing them up and a lot of sophomores and, rotating in and, and out. And you know, when this started, if you would have told me the 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 junior class had, Mr. Akers, correct me if I'm wrong, we had like 12 or 13 boys in that class in that junior class, right? Correct. When we started, it was very small. Um, 
uh, Mr. Akers and I would sit there and talk about that, and it was like, wow, it was like very, very slim, and yeah. uh, it really kind of hurt us all the way up. Those now those guys who played got to play a lot, oh, of course, yeah, because you look at that and that kind of shows. But we've actually added on some more, and we've had some kids stick with it here. This junior, this, se this senior class has been one that's, you know, they've been overshadowed by some other classes in front of them. It's been kind of hard, and you know, uh, they kind of had a. Didn't uh, really play a whole lot of downs no. as they were coming up through here. No, and that's where we we kind of had a, a tough year in 2021 where we lost a lot of we had no we had no uh, JV games. Yeah, that was huge. So then you look and you lose an entire year of there, and so that's where you're trying to make up in other spots here. So I believe is that man it's going to kick off. Yeah, it his is. leg did not look too good earlier. I mean, if he short punches this one, yeah, I don't look for him to maybe get it past the 30 yard line. No, here. like it's let's see what can happen here. As we got Morrow, Morrow and uh, Brandon Leap back there deep. It's going to be a ooh, it's going to be off the toe, and it's going to go in the end zone. That's going to be in the twenty. Out room. of the back. So he got just enough of it, and Bannett's going to go back there free safety. Nope, oh, he's going to come off. So we can have that. So it's going to be a huge play. Center's got to do something. They got to do something big. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be pulling their their kicker off, which is also their QB. Uh, he plays a lot of defense as well so I think they're definitely going to be giving him a breather trying to get him back to square one here for offense when they get back now there. those guys if you look there's a lot of those white jerseys that just played a lot yeah, of offense yep, yep. Now, offense doesn't take as much out of you on defense but we yeah. do have some fresher guys there so do the centers have enough legs in them that they can do something here we might see a little bit of an air assault I tell you what I luck. Gavin Hunt's got a got a real good chance here if he can just hit them right over some of these short guys we talked about. Yeah, I think that was one of the big things that we, we capitalized on earlier. The right there is Collier, and he that ball just – it goes as it goes to the left side. There's a ton of guys. But the flow went, and nobody really ever got it up there. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be one of those things. QB's got to read that and, and pull that ball and be able to take that to the outside. Yeah. And so centers with 347 here down 13 to nothing. They're going to be – having to claw their way back in from their own 22-yard line. They did get two yards there. I was kind of surprised on that one. Yeah, Maybe you know, yard. As much time as Eastern's been eating up on the clock here, I think this is going to be really crucial if they yeah. score on this drive. Or get a first down. You know, first down is huge. He's going to have it. He's going to have it delayed. That is oh, Miller, 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 Miller. Miller's, he's going to be pulled down, and he's going to get about four or five yards there. It's going to bring up a third and about six. So there we go. Yeah, that was one of those misdirection plays that Lowry really likes to run. Yeah. Gave him his four yards, but he was almost there where he could break yeah. that corner. And uh, Tyler going with a full head of steam there. He's been a – I called him a Swiss Army knife. He kind of whatever we need him for, yeah. he does. He's kind of that all-around player. Yeah. And it was so humble. We got off the – we got off the – we dumped the interview. He's like, he's like, I don't really have any stats. I said, man, you pile up <laughs> stats where people notice that I notice. Exactly. That's what matters. Yeah. Here we go. There's the snap. It's going to be an inside handoff. That's going to be a big – nope, it's going to be kept. Well, looks like he might have got the first he down He got there, the though. first down on it. Yes, great. All right. That's going to be a crucial first down. Craig, when you have that first down, that your defense has been over there just melting. How big is that first down? I mean, that's huge, you know, to be able to move the ball and get that first down going. And, you know, the, the Senators are going to hopefully get some momentum yeah. rolling here for them. And this is going to build it up. And I'm telling you, there's going to come a time. They've, they've shaded a uh, bunch of balls, been shading uh, Colton Brown over here all night, who's been a. Uh, like there's I said, a pull by the QB. Oh, cuts it inside. He's going to get. Boy, he laid a pretty good hit there yeah. on one of them linebackers. Yes, that's, that was Jones and uh, Temple there who kind of felt uh, Hunt's uh, wrath as he gets a couple yards. Kind of. I'm going to say it. I know he's right-handed, but it's kind of like a Tim Tebow kind of play. Yeah, like kind of, yeah. Tim Tebow would always run. He's kind of broad-shouldered like that, you know, and uh, we've had that. We've, you know, over my time, I had Kid and Chase the past few years, a little short little guy, quick, mm -hmm. quick as all get up. And then before that was Holden, who was just lean and lanky, who yeah. somehow – It's hard to bring down because his bring legs down. were so yes. skinny and he kept his feet up real high. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he was a young freshman year, senior year, was he not? Or yes, that, he was. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. As we look here, as we're gonna, they're going to be looking as Hunt with 136. And it's going to be second, and we got a lot of guys in motion. Man, oh goodness, we, Hunt's holding on the ball. He's going to dive forward. It's going to be about so back to the line. Picked up about three more yards there. Wow, that is a sneaky couple yards he got right there. You know, and he kind of stepped around an Eastern yes. player that was in the background there. Yes. And they didn't even see it. That's what everybody loves about this Jeremy Lowry offense. Yes. Is you don't know who has the ball no. until they're past the line of scrimmage. Yeah. 
I, I'm looking and I, I'm just seeing if a guy's still running. And yeah. You, see, you know, all these guys run hard. Um, I'll we'll get a break and I'll tell you what a player once told me about this offense when he was <laughs> against it. <laughs> There's the motion. Miller is going to be the pitch man. He's going to try to make around the edge. He's got. He's got it. He's got some steam. Wow. The only problem is he comes down. Couldn't get that cut back. Um, Doc, I'm sitting here. I'm telling you, we're. I had a kid and I came up to him and we just played Paoli the night before when Coach Lowry was there and uh, he comes up to me. He's like, yeah. He said I tackled the wrong guy about 15 times, and he said. Does they, do any of those counts towards my stats? And I said, no, no, unfortunately, but you did your assignment. You know, that's that, – I'm glad you brought that up. That was actually – Coach Gibson, that was his philosophy when I was playing back in school when we were playing against Jeremy Lauer. He said, tackle everyone. Tackle everyone. There you go. All right, first down there. Big, another first down is uh, brought to you by Aaron Shockey and uh, Farm Bureau Insurance there. His back for the pass. pass. He's going to – look, he's got, a, he's got some – wow. Oh, he breaks oh. free. He's got no, it. He's, no, oh, he drops, drops it right the there, and it's out, and that's going to be recovered by the Musketeers right there on their sideline on their 48, and that will be with 24 seconds left. They're going to have it, so. Holt Bowsman down here taking his hat off. Yeah. And he had it, and that's one of those things is when you try to get those extra couple yards and you take an extra hit, and that's kind of hard it, for Gavin Hunt. Nothing against him there. He took a lot of hits, and the yeah. ball just kind of jars loose. So with 24 seconds left, the Musketeers are going to be taken back over here. You know, this right here is where center has got to band together as a team. You know, th this defense is going to have to really rally around, make sure that they get this ball back. That way, It's something it. you got to do on your own. You yeah. have to, you have to, you have to put the backs on. And it is 745 because the lights just came on. No, it's 842 those lights came on. Wow, that's throwing me off. <laughs> there we go. So, big turnovers tonight have went the wrong way for the Senators. As Bannett's going to hand off, that's going to be Jones. The ball kind of jumbles around in his things, but he's going to drop down for about a three or four yard gain. Yeah, they're going to do that to run this quarter out. Yep, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter there as the Musketeers are taking a 13 nothing lead going into the fourth quarter here at Arch Sanders Field. You're listening to West Washington live stream here, simulcast on WWSR. I'm Brad Mills, Brad Holiday, and Mr. Craig Akers himself. Uh, we'll be back after a couple commercials here for the fourth quarter. If you talk to me, we'll hear you. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy, so we show them how, and we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect, not just one time, but every chance we get. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids not only need to know the dangers and how to avoid them, they need to hear it often from you. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids and guide them through the challenges of growing up safe and healthy. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. So talk, they hear you. You can do it if you try. Welcome back to West Washington Live Stream here at Arch Sanders Field. I'm Brad Mills with Evan Holiday and Mr. Craig Akers. We got a three-man booth up here. Call ourselves the Three Amigos. Is that there all right? You go. Um, you guys. Yeah, I'm cool with Three Amigos. You, you, I like you, that. You, yeah. Have you ever even seen that movie? Yeah, I've okay. seen that movie. Okay. I ain't that my, young. Okay, My Little Buttercup. There you go there. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll take Chevy's role, and you can – Mr. Akers can be Steve Martin, and you can be <laughs> You Martin sure you Short. don't want me to be your Huckleberry? And, uh, I still – you do. It is pretty good. As we're going to switch around here, okay, so we talked about we got to have the mogul our way some way or another. It just seems like every time we do, we have shot ourselves in the foot over and over again as we go in the – with 12 minutes left, the center's got to make something happen here defensively. It's got to be on the backs of – defense yeah for sure it's definitely on the back of the defense here I think a lot of it's going to be pushing make sure our guys are getting this front line kind of getting on their heels it's going to really determine this this quarter is going to tell who's in the best shape yep there's bunch of ball he's going wide he's going to get there's the snap flag, on the oh, play. flag. Yeah, flag and it's going to be he's probably going to break free and score another touchdown and then <laughs> That we seems to be his thing. He breaks yeah. free when there's a flag. <laughs> Looks like we've got Hayden Morrow down with a cramp over there. Oh, man. I don't know that I would – I really don't know that I would uh, be able to look my teammates in the eyes if I had three touchdowns called. Called back, back. every back. one of them. Yeah. Mason Cox, when I coached him in uh, junior high, our first game against Eastern, had two called back. And he it, it, his whole season was kind of ruined over that. He had two great runs that were both called back, one on a guy that was 40 yards down the field. 
Hayden oh, he's, running he's off the field. That's the field. Good. Yeah. He's not going to stop this. He's, he's going to outrun the trainer to get off the field. <laughs> and so I think that stick and rub it out, he rub says. Yeah, I think it's another cramp. Well, you know, we had an issue last year in the game where the guy went to the wrong sidelines. It was not removed. It was not our player. And that really kind of irritated me because, you know, we do look for safety on these young men and we want them to be safe. And, you know, there's there's more to life than football. And, uh, I, you know, we look at that and we talk about all the safety things the NFL is kind of trying to do yeah. to help out. And we, the high school's done it too. You know, we look at the big – the domes that we're wearing. I forget. What are those actually called? I'm my brain's uh, – um, yeah. The, like a medical tent? Yeah, the, yeah, the medical tent. Those are cool. I mean, those are really cool. You think about it, you're saving yourself out of a lot of hits. And that's, you know, Gavin Hunt's been hit for the first time all year this year So yeah. as a quarterback. So he's learning on the spot. As that's going to push him back, man, centers, do something here defensively. Help us out here. We need something. That's going to be a inside handoff to Bunch of Ball. He's going to cut back. He's going to ride three, four senators before finally number 25 for the senators there. Uh, Xander McFeeders rides him down. So you know, and that's somebody that we haven't seen a whole lot of. No, that we've seen, we did see a whole lot of out of the, the scrimmage. Was Xander McFeeders running the ball? Yeah, he's not ran at this, you know, this entire. I've not seen him with a carry yet, and that's something you know, as a freshman, you hope that you don't have to run him with the ball. That's something you hope and. You know, you, you say that, but I know that McFeeders' name. Yeah. He's got a lot to carry on, carry <laughs> you know, on his the shoulders. shoulders. Yeah, it is. I think every school has like that one, you know, the one kid like, do they ever graduate or what? Yeah, happens? they think it's the same person. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny. He's wearing the same number that his cousins did. Yeah, there you go. Is this ball is going to be on the inside handoff? That's going to be delayed handoff to Jones. Jones going to have to go to the sidelines. He's going to be out. He's going to take a head first slide there. Ellie De La Cruz style to the um, sideline there is number 55 for the centers there. White Walls. Kind of helped to push him out along Hayden Morrow back in there. Hayden wasn't going to be out too many plays. He's still a little he's still a little timid there as you're watching him. Great kid, plays real hard. He's one of those juniors we talked about this this junior class that really has grown. Thankfully for the Senators, because it was kind of worrisome for a while when I was sitting here. Yeah. And uh, looks like they're going to be moving Hayden out to outside line, outside DB. Yeah. Uh, I would say that's probably because he's a little more physical, a little bit bigger than. I wonder if they will roll out um, Bannett to that side. You know, he'll be thrown across the field, but they have they like to do that as they've got a num number 15 out there who has not been out there a lot, K Caden Jones. And we got all kinds of. Yeah, I, I think we may have to shoot the foot delay again. a game again maybe. Wow. Yeah, yeah man, I tell you. Yep. I mean, hey. Let's say something. There is a positive real big. The centers have played a very good, very clean game, clean just game. overall. Just overall game. Now, they have to cover up. There's always these things. You know, M Mr. Akers and I will tell you, the thing that we talk about is line battle is always big. Yep. Line battle is yes. always big. Always. But also the turnover battle is huge, you know. You know, that's something you look at. Turnovers have to be a minimum. And that's what we haven't done tonight. We've had too many of them. So, so. So they're going to go back under center here. There you go. So here's this handoff. That's going to be delayed up the middle there. And, it, and it's Garish is going to get it. Three or four senators. He's going to get pushed. As there was all kinds of guys there. That ball just kind of went. It's like everybody fighting over a turkey on Thanksgiving. <laughs> they still got a long so ways to go for the first. Another cramping up out there, but it looks like he's going to try to yep. muscle through it. Oh, that's the guy you find. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make a swim move. If I if I'm a D lineman, I'm trying to figure out what kind of swim move that yep. I want to make to get yep. through that guy. You know, how He's am I gonna be? His toe back there. Yeah, but you know, unfortunately, that's Trekker. Trekker's got one. He's got one speed. It's go. Yeah. I mean, when your name's Trekker, you gotta go. Yeah. You gotta go. Almost sounds like Trekker. Yeah. Yep, there you go. <laughs> He's got a smile on his face the whole time. He's going 100 miles an hour. All right, here we go. You see, looks like they're gonna bring another one right up the middle. Yeah, right think. here. Yep. Whoa, real delayed. Real delayed. It's going to pass. He's going to get it. It's going to be over the middle. He's going to have it. He's going to get in the end zone. No, it's going to be right on the one. So, right there. So, right there is number 16, Martin Lewin. He's having a – if you had him on your fantasy team tonight, you're very happy. He's had a touchdown run and a yeah, big catch like there. It looked like they had him maybe set up on the yep. wing there. And, and that's something I'd really like to see how the Senators try to be able to pull there. And so, you're going to look as they're going to be knocking on the door here with 9.58 .50, left. You know, going to be a, a very big thing. Yeah, for sure. We've seen a little bit of it during our scrimmage there last week. It's, it's going to be one of those things that our 
defensive backs, they're going to have to learn to kind of stay, keep your eyes on that guy yeah. because he can do that thing. He can release and he can be open for a pass. That's what you do. You right set behind it, you in no time. You set it up here like in the fourth quarter when you're up and yeah. you got that there. Here we go. They're going to re -line. I look for him to go under center here to kind of maybe burn a little bit of the clock. Yeah, I mean, they've got a uh, rusher there. They're going to hand it off to him, most likely number 24 there. And they're going to hand it. He's going to get you on the late. He's going to be up the middle. And he's going to be – there are all kinds of flags thrown. Yeah. I tell you what, and that's what the Musketeers are really hurting themselves. And that's going to be – and it may not get them this week. That's something you look at. And that's yeah. in future yeah. weeks, that's going to be a big thing. They go to Tell City next week, a very good Tell City oh, team. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was talking to Coach Newton, and I had not did my research and looked at Tell City's record. Oh, my gosh. That is one of the better teams they've had in a very, very long time. Yeah, they're, they're definitely senior heavy. I think they've got – 12 or 13 seniors on that Tell City team. It, it's a good team. And they're playing the Perry Central, who's um, got a new head coach this yep. year. Yep. For the first time, Greg Gibson will not be <laughs> on the sidelines. I mean, that is what is crazy as we have uh, all kinds of yelling up here towards us. And the, the uh, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't work the clock. I'm not doing anything. So something was not happy with the coaching staff there as we look. <laughs> As Burt Jones is in the backfield now, that's going to be a first and nine. For, uh, first and nine. It's going to be handoff pitch outside Jones. Jones cuts down. He's going to be dropped before he gets a couple. He's going to get back to about the three-yard line there, and that's going to bring up a second and about three. You know, Hayden Morrow missing that tackle there. Yeah. I think one of those things was just keep your head up. I know he's still probably hurting just a little bit, but he's got to keep his oh, head yeah. up when he goes to make those tackles, especially when he's going against. Yeah, that's w it's where you have a sense of pride. I mean, you have that. You don't, you know, you want to. And, unfortunately, we look at this. I think the centers have had maybe eight plays of offense yeah. in this second half, and that's been huge. This poor defense has been on the field a tremendous amount of time. You know, it's going to be one of those things. And that's what's going to make our defense tougher going out yep. on throughout the year. It's going to be the late handoff to Jones. He's going to cut around the outside. He's going to walk in the end zone. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Musketeers. And so that's going to make up a 19 to nothing lead for Eastern here with 8.58 left. And the Senators, uh, just their miscues have kind of come back to haunt them over and over tonight. Yeah, we've had a few drop balls, a few turnovers here. I know it's it's one of those things that we're going to have to really focus and execute with the week to come. Uh, they're going to definitely be working on it a lot, I know, come through practice all week long. It's a hard it's a hard way to start here when you get out to this point. You know, you get to these big things. And I don't know if – man, they must have given them a lot of time because this play clock has uh, still got 20-something <laughs> seconds on it. So, they must have re they must have Tom Brady over there getting them that extra uh, <laughs> thing. They're going to go for the two. I don't like this at all, personally. I'll tell you why. Because you never want to show anybody anything on tape of your two-point conversions. Especially I, in the first season yeah, when you're up 19-0. Yeah, yeah, you don't. You don't. I know there's a lot of things. You know, they're trying to get it. So, it's a pitch. Nothing. And so, he's going to be in there. No. They're going to give it to him. They're going to give it to him. So, they're going to give it. I didn't see the gentleman. I couldn't see the man on the right side there. I saw the man in the white cap give the no. So, we're going to head to a commercial break here. 8.58 left. Sent West Washington down 21 to nothing to Eastern. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Ain't no love in Oklahoma. <laughs> Sorry. <back> on. <laughs> Welcome back to West Washington Live Stream. Sorry, I might have been uh, singing a little bit of Luke Combs there, folks. Uh, um, did we pay for the rights for that? Yeah, no, sure. Gotta, okay, sure. Okay. 858 left here, West Washington losing 21 nothing here to Eastern. It's been a, a night of miscues here early on. It's been a young season here in the first game. Evan, what do you think you see there that's uh, that you've seen out of your through your eyes tonight? You know, I, I think a lot of this is going to be execution. Um, we've done a really good job of keeping the flags off of our back. Uh, Eastern, not so much. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our things that we've kind of fell on is, is 
being able to secure the ball and hold on to it. It's going to be one of those things that they're going to really focus on probably this drive. I think it's going to be definitely a game changer. I know the, all these boys, they've kind of, they're back on their heels a little bit, but they got to get their momentum going the right way. Yeah, and that's going to be so huge for us because we've got to do that as the kick goes deep. That one's going to be picked up. That's league with a kick pickup. He's going to be going right. He's going left. He's got a couple guys. He's going to be pulled down about the 30, then he's going to be pushed back. He's and still going. He's still going. Whoa, wow. They're calling it dead. Calling it dead there, you know, a little rugby scrum there got going. It looks like he's being held up by a couple of our bigger guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, it says, okay, that was Atherton. I'm trying to find the Clarksville score. We've had trouble kind of finding that. That's our week two opponent. We'll be back here at our Sandersfield next week. Uh, any broadcast coming up this week, uh, Craig? Actually, the girls are on the – girls volleyball is on the road um, for their next six. They play county tournament tomorrow um, with two of those games at Salem, and then um, they're away all next week. So our next home broadcast will be – here next Friday with Clarksville. Okay, Hunt with the keep. He gets his bell rung but pops right back up. That kid's a tough kid. He's got a lot of ice water in his veins. And the guy, other guy took it. You know what? He says, hey, I took it. <laughs> Their guy took it just as hard there. Yeah. And that is a huge play. And somebody goes down for the for the uh, Musketeers. I can't make out a number. But, man, he got popped there by our quarterback. And now it's going to be a cramp. So, um, yeah, so we've got a lot of games coming up. I know that our full schedule, probably one of the easiest ways, follow us on social media, West Washington yeah. Livestream. You know, our Facebook page, um, our YouTube page is a big one, right? Correct. We like that, and uh, we unlock a lot of games if you get a lot of there. Um, yeah. We'll do something maybe that as we get going. There's some – maybe we can find a holiday special to uh, <laughs> throw on there. there there's uh, some out there. There's is, some is there, is, out is there a game that you remember that you that just out there that you had a big role in? Not Actually, one. believe it or not, there is. Okay. Uh, um, it's actually a Phil AC championship okay. against Perry Central at Perry Central. It was probably the, the heaviest rain that we've ever played oh, really? in. Really? Yeah. Um, it was definitely one of those. We were down uh, before halftime. Uh, I was playing safety, and it was so wet. I don't even know if you could even see the wide receivers running, but I seen their QB drop back for a pass, and they went to throw, and it actually skipped off the hands of the – the receiver, uh -huh. and I caught it, and I actually took it back for 98 yards Ooh. to change the game. Is that, is that school record? Uh, 98 yards? I don't, like that. I don't know. I'd no, have I to, don't know. We'll have to look. We've yeah. got some. There's good. So there you go. Maybe we'll have It's to, on film. I got it's it It's on saved. film. <laughs> it's on huddle. Is it like one of those Zabruder film type no, things? No, I ain't that old. Okay. Mine, the, mine stone tablets from when I was <laughs> Yeah, it's on huddle. As we go here, that's going to be – We're going to drop back Hayden Morrow wide open. Wide open. He hits Morrow. He's deep. He's going. That's going to be huge. And he's going to – That's going to be a touchdown by Hayden Morrow. 68 yards to the house. Wow. And just like that, one play. Hey, this game ain't over yet. So – I've seen it done before. Yep. The Musketeers might have been already etching their names, trying to get out of that loose column since the last time, you know, Barack Obama was president last time they beat us. <laughs> so, they were trying to do that. And you know, and I, that's one of the things I said I was would really like to see from yeah. Jeremy Lowry coming what, out in this half. Was what a be great ball, ball by Hunt, too. Yeah. That was a, a line drive. I mean, he could have put some air, but he hit him right in stride. As we're sitting here, as we got all kinds, it's great play. And thank you to Farmer Dan down there on the sidelines. He's got our he's, – he's down there. Got some really good views of this as we've been going tonight. I can't wait to rewatch this one. And with the package, you buy it, too. You can rewatch the games, right? Yeah, you right? can rewatch them all. Oh, Lord. I may have to put mine on mute when I watch it. <laughs> As after that big play, he's going to be the toe here and try to put this one through. This would be crucial right here. Mm -hmm. We want to get it, get back in this. Ooh, oh, ooh. fumble ball. Fumble ball. Flips it back to Hunt. Hunt's going to go to the outside. He's going to try to cut it in. Can he? Oh, he's going to be at the one. Right at the one. You know, that's one of those things. Yeah. That's the first time we went out to even kick an <laughs> extra point. It's the, the first week of the season. I mean, it, it's just one of those things yeah. that – Everybody's kind of tired. I think uh, Hayden Morrow was there holding the ball. You know, yeah. he's exhausted from that long run. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is one thing. Uh, I, I'll i never forget that in college at Ball State, we had a receiver who was our holder. 
Yeah. And yeah, I thought that was so wild. Yeah. It wasn't our backup quarterback or something. And we had an 85 or 86 yard bomb, and he was not the recipient, but he was the lead blocker. Yes. And then he had to come and like it was a crucial, <laughs> crucial yeah. point. And you talk yeah. about rain, yeah. and it's like rain, but he holds it, and then the guy kicks yeah. it through. I'm like, oh my goodness, I, I get shades of Tony Romo when I see that. You know, when he botched the the snap uh, yeah. for the the Cowboys. Oh man, I hope Coach Lowry didn't hear that. Uh, I like uh, I like Coach Lowry uh, gets my uh, my Cowboys humor. Oh, are you a Cowboys fan? Uh, no, 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 no. I would, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't invest in a in a horrible product like that. So no, I don't want to be disappointed every year. You know, I'm a Bengals fan, so I get disappointed every year annually. So, um, although this is our year, Joe Burrow, let's there go, you go, let's go. There you go. Um, he's gonna he's gonna finish the story there. Yeah, you know, I, with this all changing here, I think the center's got a little bit of momentum yeah. underneath of him. I look for our defense to really come out here. I think they're fired up. I think they want to get the yeah, ball back and want, stay in this you game. You want to, and you know what? And that's where you look at, you know, you try to find a way because we haven't played horrible defense. That is something. There's been some There's been some, some big plays, but it's nothing been that's, you know, really irked me. It's more like, hey, you know, assignments, a little bit of assignments here or there. You know, it's kind of one of those cut and paste kind of things I wish we could do. You know, this is the – you see Eastern lining up. We're not even in the in the setup for an onside kick, and they're already set up for it. A nice little pooch kick right hey, over right here. Right now, 40-yard line would be perfect. Cody Bannett's in there holding his legs. Kick it back here. He's not ready. Yeah. And I'm serious. Yeah. And then you bring the house, and yeah. you just go, because yeah. the next line of guys is five yards here. I'm serious. Yeah. Oh, I know. You kick yeah, it right, you kick there right there to that right 20. The you kick it to that yeah. 20. Yeah. Right there where Farmer Dan's at, and you go recover it. I mean, right there, it just about – it just – I'm oh, serious. Touch it. I'm serious. He touched right it. Here's a pit. Pin him deep. Pin him deep. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. Oh, man. That was wish. That was when I wish we had some guys with some super speed that could get down there almost like a gunner because that is what you do. And if it could have just went just a little bit over here. Yeah, you know, that's one of the things is being out here in the corner, you don't have a bunch of guys that play soccer. I don't even think we have a soccer team. So, it's definitely hard to get that ball to fall yeah. right where you want it. And, you know, it, it's one of those things. I know Brendan Grimes, we had him. We were going through school. He was one of our best kickers to ever come through the program. He was able to drop that ball, and he would literally land right on the inside of the out-of-bounds line. And I bring that up. I brought that up about the NFL doing that because I don't want to eliminate a kicker exactly. from the high school game. Yeah. Because it's a huge game. It's a it's a chess match. This is – you know, they're wanting to play checkers. Man, I, I'd rather play chess out here. Yeah. Yeah, you got to put your pieces wow, in the right the place. The had 12 men on the field just to that last moment there. Coach Lyra was able to get off number 60 for the centers. Is that ball? That's a little bit of a, wow, that is not a very good play. They're going to be dropped. And all of a sudden, I know the centers, they've got they've got all three timeouts yes. there, Doc. What do you think about that? You know, I, you get <laughs> I think it's going to be one of those things. Lowry's going to hold it as far as, yeah. as, far and as long as he can. Yeah. He, he, he knows that he's going to have to use them at some point. It's going to be yeah. just win. So, um, man. This is going to be a total game changer. He may use one or well, two see, on this drive, but that, I really don't see it with seven minutes. See, 45 Eastern seconds went ago. back into a huddle, and that's what they're going to wait till they absolutely know. They know the play. Yeah, for sure. And they're they going to wait. Know. They're going to wait. Yeah, they're going to burn clock. Well, I think it's going to be one of those things. They, I think they, he'll use. I'm it surprised on they're getting. Down. Look, they're taking their time. Sometimes this hurts a lot of teams when you. It does when you can slow the game down. Yeah. They know the centers the, the, have the, momentum the, under, the middle is seven. wide open for us, though. I do not like this. Our middle is wide yeah, open. Yeah, we've got a. There's a flag on flag the play. play the so Way to Lewin's stay home. Going. Brings Wait, him down. That's all right. That's all There's right. a little bit of a late hit there. That was Colton Brown kind of mad that he didn't, but he stayed down. He made the tackle. So that ball is going to be yeah, gonna be a There's penalty. still a flag on that one, and I yep. think it's on Eastern. So we're going to go back. Yeah, <laughs> illegal shift. <clears throat> and, you know, what you have sometimes is you play tight. You're like, oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. We're here. You know, we yeah, look back. I was not in the booth, thankfully, for week uh, – for week nine last year. <laughs> <laughs> I was down there watching some kids, so I'm very thankful I did not have a mic in front of me uh, <laughs> watching that because you play tight sometimes, and that's hard. You don't want to do that. There's still a lot of time. And you know what? If if Hunt wants to sit back, we'll drop back and throw it again. Who knows? Yeah, you, you know, know, that's one of the things I think Lowry's going to have to learn to adjust to these yeah. guys a little bit. We're a little bit smaller, we're a little undersized. Yeah. I think going out, going on throughout the year, you're going to be able to do that yeah. the first half, but yeah. I think you're going to have to rely on that yeah. throw game just a little yeah. bit more. And that's what, you know, a little Martin Chastain there. Uh, yeah, the Martin Chastain, he was a great QB. Yeah. I got uh, PTSD from him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kendall Rosenbaum also yes. rolling in behind him as well. Yes. Another one is there going motion to the left side. It's going to be a pitch out Another there. Pitch. Oh, that ball's oh, loose. loose. That ball's loose. And the centers, like, they got it. No, oh, it's going to be coming uh, right back up. Man, I tell you what, that took a peak and bounce. 
and went right back up to number See 16. See Jeremy Lowry yelling there. It uh, looked like one of the centers tried to scoop it up and run instead yeah. of just falling on it. Yeah, that's huge there. Number 16 for the yeah. – once again, he's having – Marty Lewin, he's having a great night. If your name's Lewin and you're for Eastern, you're having a great night. So, hey, once again, they're playing tight. 6.30 left here. Yeah, you know, it, it looks like it, it, it's – Third and 15 to go here. Yep. This could be a game changer right here. Get a good stop yep. right here. Make them, stop. Punt it, yeah. make them punt it away. Man, make them punt it away. And you've seen it's been, you know, their quarterback's got back there. He's got more cramps than Secretariat in the uh, <laughs> in the, Bel the, the Belmont. We'll go Belmont. 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 Yeah. Belmont, he won by a lot. Yeah. Oh, they got another penalty. Here. here we go. Another delay of game. Another delay of game. The best thing about that is it stops the clock. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're saying they're the timeout. They're going to say – so we had a before the before the flag. I think they had a timeout by Eastern. So that's all right. Well, we'll let them stop the clock. Yeah. For us. Yeah. Either, either way, the clock Lowry stopped. Time out there, which is exactly what the Senators wanted to Man. do. They wanted to get and the I, clock God, stopped. That's something you see when you're in these rivalry games, and if somebody plays not to lose. Yep. You play to win the game. Yes, for you sure. You don't play not to lose. It's simple as that. Yeah. And they've got to be able to do that here. And that's something we've got to see is they've come up here. They're going to be bringing the house here. And if we can cause something, I mean, Bannett does not look comfortable back there, quarterback. Somebody, I mean, he's drugged down pretty hard throughout the game here. He started off the first half really, really strong. This last half, he, I think mm -hmm. he's went out of the game two or three times. It, it's going to be definitely a game changer. I mean, the center is already ready to go back on the ball. Yeah, they're ready. I mean, you're hungry. You want to cause, you want to cause, you want to cause a play just like you had there yeah. and get that ball back. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's one of the things that Lowry was down there yelling, and, and get the ball. Got, yeah, get the ball. Don't don't try scoop and score. Yeah, We're I not know. worried about that. Let our offense do that. It's hard, you know. My cousin Adam played in Texas and was able to uh, had he was a center and had two plays that he got touch the ball on. They were fumbles. He said, one of them I thought I could scoop and score on. <laughs> he said, I just fell on it like I was supposed to. Yeah. And that's hard. You know, you have that, you know, yeah, get that chance to yeah, do it. Yeah, a lot of these defensive guys, they don't really get yeah. to play any offense yep. and touch the ball. So, it, it, here it's we a go. good chance for them. Bring the house, boys. Bring the house. Let's cause some damage back there. As the snap goes, it's going to be a rollout. Roll He's going to throw it to the flats. He's going to have somebody. It's going to be picked off. Oh, oh, he dropped it. That was right there for Colton Brown. He had it. He almost got to redeem himself from that scoop and score. score. He's had two of them in a chance, so now they're going to be sitting there. And I tell you what, we better make sure there's not a chapel over on the eastern sideline because I think they've been saying a lot of prayers over there to help themselves out. So <laughs> They're going to punt this one away. They're going to sure punt this it. one, and they can't wait to get rid of this ball probably. Yeah, what I really look forward to see here is, is Hayden Morrow to pick it up and, and maybe take it for about 15, hopefully for a touchdown. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's something you got. So they got to watch. They got to watch the Gunners out there. As look at this, they have too many men on the field. Still do. Bunch of ball back there, and they've got some some real heat coming. But we're gonna bring it too. Oh, it's, it's gonna blocked. be tapped. It's blocked punt right there, and they're just gonna be fall. Wow, what a game changer there! Yeah. Once again, 556. The center's got new life. Let's score, Looks boys. Like down on the 20. Yeah, 20 that, there. That's a big turn for the big centers there. there to be able to. Uh, Let's go. Get yep, them in the red zone. Recover it yeah. on the 20 so that they can get in and score here because the clock is against the Senators right now, 556. You know, you've got to get in and get the ball <laughs> yes, back. Yes, you do. And you, but you want to get in with all three of your timeouts. Yeah. You want to get in and get in with all your, your timeouts. Tipped it. Tipped it. There was a ball that was tipped there as we go. So Hunt's going to be under center here. He's going to be having, I believe that is, Collier in the backfield. There we go. Dennis to the right side. He's in motion right there. There's the pass. Ball's up. Ball's up. It's going to be yeah, right out of the hands of a like diving. 23 there was the intended that receiver. Colton Brown. And that's what also Isaiah Dennis on the right side, I don't know that he had it, but it looked as if Hunt kind of decided he was going to throw two before the play ever hit. Yeah, he kind of knew exactly Man. what routes they were running. You know, it's one of those things that I think Eastern's on their heels a little bit here. I think they, right. they know maybe some of the passes are going to be coming, coming at them, especially with the short – Five minutes and 50 seconds here to go. All righty. For our radio fans, I'm standing up. So, there you go. So, <laughs> give us a little. Mm. Hand off. He's going up the middle. Wow, he's, he's still breaking. rumbling, stumbling, bumbling. He's down and out of bounds. Almost the five-yard Wow. Line. Gavin Hunt, what a run. I tell you, he just did not stop believing. He held on to that feeling and kept going. He did not. That was a play that he just rode it and rode it. And they're not going to stop the clock for us. Man, he was out of bounds. I can't believe that one. All right, here we go. It's going to be a quick snap. It's going to be an inside handoff. 
Get Collier's going to go. Push, He's going to get a push. Get a push. Get a push. Tush, push. Let's go. It's going to be right there. There's got to be a whistle somewhere. There's got to be a whistle yeah, they somewhere. Brought him down. They brought him down, but he's going to be shy. Looks like they're going to leave him where he was. Yeah. So there we go. So I'm kind of surprised. That's going to be there. So it looks like we did get. It looks like we're up to the five, if I'm not mistaken. We're on that. I need to get a laser. One of those nice little lines <laughs> like they have. <laughs> yeah. All righty. I think it goes the right side here. You got it all day if you go to the right side. They're going to go left. The ball's oh, the down. Ball's down. down. The ball's down. And it's going to be, man, nope, Senators. nope. Miller comes up with it with a Hail Mary there. 444 left. It's going to be fourth and five, if I'm not mistaken. So third and five. Third, down. third and five. All right, so deep breath. Get a score. <laughs> deep breath. Get a score. You know, I think this is one of those points that Jeremy Lowry really needs to call a timeout and mm -hmm. settle his guys down, hone in on what we need to be doing and execute it the correct way and get a touchdown yep. on this. So he's going to go. Holden Bowsman sends in the play. You know, that's one so, thing I haven't seen the headset come off of holding yet and thrown on the ground like his dad used to. <laughs> He's got it. And right here, I'm telling you, that right side, I swear to you, is wide open for a pass if we want it as we go motion left. Oh, oh Billy. Right. It's there. I had it. And it's going to cut back. He come, he's going to be knocked away. He was looking for Colin Brown, and Hayden Morrow was his second level there. And it was there, but then he, he almost like had a little too guy got a hand on it. Yep. So the centers have shown some life there as they've gotten back and they will not, they, they haven't backed down. Some that I really enjoy is they have not backed down in yeah. this game. Yeah, you know, and it, this is one of those situations in, in high school ball, it's, you almost have to go for the go for the touchdown. I mean, it's yeah. six to 21, we got four minutes left in the fourth yeah. quarter. You don't kick it. No, you, you gotta go. No, I mean, you're in the wide and then, you know, you, you need two scores. You need yeah. two scores to tie this game back yeah. up. And, Right here, I tell you, tell you what, there is a, let's see what kind of wrinkle it looks like in the passing game. Isaiah Dennis's. Drop back and pass. Oh, man. He's going to take it. He's going to be dropped. He's going to be dropped before they get us. It'll be right there inside the end zone. You know, this is a big, big crucial thing right here for Senator defense is to come out and make another stop yeah. like they had earlier. Maybe yeah. get that fumble picked mm -hmm. up. Maybe get that interception and, and give our – Offense, another chance to get it in the end zone. And you know, so many plays. I don't know the the off the defensive line there as you look. And I think this, I think the center Joseph Hart might have snapped the ball before it was ever ready because you saw Isaiah Dennis was to there and yeah, they had to kind of go and like it wound up being a little bit of a broken play there. Yeah. And I think that's what they're discussing as they got over to the sidelines there. It's very, you know, the center's all, all guts and no glory, you know, when you're the center. Yeah, you know, this is one of those things. I look for I look for the Eastern to, to bring it out and just push the ball as yep. long as they can. Yep. Uh, but the biggest thing is going to be getting a good stop here, maybe close the gap uh, or get a forced, bump, forced turnover. Here comes the first timeout probably. Nope, coach is going to let it stay there. So that's going to put it down, but that's a 40 second. So that's going to bring be, us right down to the three-minute mark. Yeah, three-minute mark here. Center's down 21 to six. You know, you're hoping that you – but still, look at that. That was a lot of yards they got out of there. You with, know, I, I look for, for Jeremy Lowry to, to play this out with this timeout real well to, to be able to help him as far as that two-minute warning. Yeah. But we don't have a two-minute warning. <laughs> That'd be good if it was. I know. Yeah. It's all good. It, it would be wonderful. That would I be playing, an extra. I was playing Madden earlier today. Yeah. And had it, yeah. We got that two-minute warning. Two more warning. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. We can add that if we want. There you I go. That would be great, wouldn't it? It would be great, yeah. I'm sorry. I like here we go. Is there Looks gonna like be they're going to be lining some wide receivers up out wow, there. Wow, they're going to be handed off there. Jones. There's a flag, oh, flag on the play. Yeah, all kinds of extracurriculars there. You know, that's <laughs> one of the things that, that's really challenging this Eastern offense. I mean, yeah. They're, they've had – I would hate to know how many yards it is in flags. Well, I mean, you go against Tell City in week two and then you go to Brownstown in week three. That's some – that's a that's – a, you do that, you're – you're yeah. down a lot yeah. because of two very senior-laden teams that are there. Um, you know, I think this would have been a little bit of a different outcome if they wouldn't have had as many flags against them. You oh, know, yeah. It would have been a little bit of a faster-paced game. Oh, yeah. We, the centers have done a good job of making them play kind of their kind of, yeah. you know, game of there as we look at this is they're going to bring the full student body back there. And the clock was moving on a penalty. I guess I get, didn't realize that was. It's going to be – that's going to be bunch of ball. He's going to be out wide. It's going to be Bannock keeping it. Nope, he's just going to hand it off. And he's going to be down. They're just trying to run around. Yeah, yeah they're trying to run the clock out. Yeah. Of it. yeah. 
Yep, as this is going to be a third down here. Centers, I mean, I want to see us try to make them punt again, too. I'd love to see another block punt. Yeah, and this one, though, in the end zone, that makes a big thing, and you, and you, you play the game. Centers have had a, a big chance here. They've just been struggling a bit. Yeah, and, you know, I think it's one of those things is in practice, you don't really practice no. the block punt. No. What are you supposed to do when you do it? Yep. I think that's one of the things that they're going to do coming into this coming week as well. As they're going to have to say here is we see motion by them. It's going to be a pitch. Nope, it's going to be the inside. In the Pick middle. Stuff. In the middle, bunch of ball. He's going to get the first down. And that should finish the game off there yeah, with 201. That drops it right at the two-minute, which is yeah. usually about four plays. So. Yeah, see, so there's four. your two-minute. Warning, I stunned you. Yeah, there you go. There, I, 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 that's all right. <laughs> two minute war two minute warning brought to you by the Salem Card Show. Come join us on November uh, on October twenty sixth. That'll be our next show. Trunk or treat slash card show. Come get cards and candy. That's right. We'll be at the armory from nine to two that day. Free mission for everybody. There you go. How about that? Thanks for the plug there. Yeah. I really appreciate that. I run the Salem Card Show. So we have that, so it is a you know, a great senior laden team here for the Musketeers. They've they've earned this victory. They've, uh, they're only four, about four plays away from it. Is they're going to snap it? That yeah, I believe, I think Lowry still has one timeout left yeah. here. Is that ball is going to be? He's going to have all three, actually. He has all three left according to the scoreboard. So yeah. that's going to be out there. And that's going to be 122. In the first, one. first one right there. So Senators uh, not looking good here as they've had their chances, though. That's what's sad. They've had their chances. I think we've had two red zone, red zone turnovers. Yeah, those are huge. You know, it, it, the the Senators have played a pretty good game. It's just those those little things, the turnovers. Um, you know, the 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 plays where we've got to get ten yards and we get seven. You know, that's just the the difference in this game. If you yeah. take those away from the Senators, this is a this is a fairly close oh, close yeah. game. I mean, we're not that it's a, a blowout by any means right now. But the, the Senators, it would be much closer if they were able to just get those little things to get over that hump. You know, and I think a lot of that, Craig, is, is going to be capitalizing on when Eastern is shooting themselves in the foot. I think a lot of that's kind of fell back on us. We, mm -hmm. we say, yay, they're going back five yards, yep. and then we kind of slack off yep. a little bit instead of keep moving forward. It's how you press that accelerator. Yeah, you got to press that back. accelerator just a little bit. It, it's kind of like you get, you know – Go to the steal that cookie out of the cookie jar, and somebody slaps your hand and misses, and you like go na na na, and then boom, you get your hand slapped. Exactly. Yours. So I mean, yeah. you have to you have to be somebody who's up there, and you have to make those plays. You know, um, the little things. I, I've I've had shirts before that says that little yeah, the, the little, little things. things. It's like that's a motto that you look at. So they're going to be snapping here with 120 left. There's going to be the snap. That's going to be the Jones. Jones, so Jones going to be trying to break free again here. He's going to try. He's trying to find some. He's going to go down about the 49 before he's ridden down there by a, a platoon of Senators there. Looks like number 51 there with the tackle there, Tristan Brown. Looks like they did call him out of bounds wow. maybe because the chains aren't moving as fast as what I would no. think they did. One one twelve left here as the Senators are. See if they start the clock. Uh, yeah, here. I would say we're probably going to see victory formation here. Yeah, I would say you're almost to that point where you can because there's there's two timeouts left, but a couple of knees here. Clock yet. Yep, right there, victory there formation. So, so they got them. So that's going to be is we have we have a penalty we got here. We got 56. We got a an, okay. That's a very strange play. I don't know if somebody was ineligible or something for a play there or what. The helmet came off maybe. Maybe. Is this going to be on issue? It's going to be right there. Is Bannett's going to drop down? He's going to take the knee. With 109 left, the clock is going to be going down. There's going to be a timeout called by the Senators. Yep, Senators going to call a timeout yep. to stop the clock. Stop the clock there. Bring up second down. Next week, the Senators will be home here at 7 p.m. against the Clarksville Generals, a team that um, kind of is in a rebuild, but with a very good young core there. Yeah, and a young quarterback. A young quarterback, sophomore. Um, I was unable to – I actually, I attended the first game and then wound up in <laughs> kidney stones the next oh day. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, that, that game we got a kickoff in and then there was a delay. It was a and downpour. A downpour. And then the heavens opened up and it kept raining more and more and more. And uh, so then we played it on Saturday night and I think we had just about as 
bad weather or was it good weather that night? It was uh, bad after we left. After it was great left. when we were there, but then it opened up and yeah. poured after that. So. so we wound up having to do that. So I was home with the kidney stone listening to um, uh, Mr. Abbott and Mr. Akers do that one, thankfully. I'm glad. And uh, I know that, you know, the young kids there from Clarksville are definitely, um, there was a core that they talked about that was real key for them. And that's where we've got to make our way as we go through here. And this team's learning their identity. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said earlier, we've got four seniors, got a lot of a lot of juniors, and even some sophomores out there. Uh, I think it's definitely one of those things is they're learning. I mean, we're only in week one. We got a long ways to go. It's going to be one of those things that they learn from what they've done this week. They've done a really good job of keeping the flags off of their back. Yeah. But a lot of a lot of it's going to be learn how to execute and. Yeah. And hold on to the ball moving forward. And there's been some aspects of this where you look at, we talk about, it's been very good as the Musketeers come out and they're going to 107 left here. The centers have one timeout, so do the Musketeers if need be. I would say they're probably going to run the ball. If not, do that. It's going to be it's going to be an inside handoff. Bunch of ball is going to take it to the left side. He's going to be knocked down. First down and out of bounds. Out of bounds there at the 38, 42 yard line. That really doesn't help Eastern out any going out of bounds there. No, but the Senators have burnt all but one timeout. So now for sure the Eastern Musketeers can go into victory formation. Yeah, for sure. As we look at that, and uh, like we said, the Musketeers will travel um, back home. They're home against Tell City tomorrow. That's a way better trip than going to Tell City, yes. not going to lie. Um, <laughs> yeah, Tell City's always way. There was a chance last year we could have went to Rockport, and I was like, please, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> and so it's going to be victory formation. They're going to drop right there, and that's clock going to be, and Coach is going to use the timeout there. And the centers are going to call a timeout there. So they're right there. So that's going to be that's going to be there, and uh, that's going to be there. Yeah, the you, you, you see the Musketeers over there yeah. in the stands. They've got a they brought a pretty good yeah, crowd. They did. They've got a nice student section going on yeah. over there. Um, and sh kudos to them. This is a great team. I I you know I I said I said three years ago on that very hot day when we were up there and uh, at Eastern I said this is a team that they've got a lot of kids that they can that were young that were big and they've got some stuff. And so Coach Newton uh, will be only the second coach to in Eastern history to start off his career with a first win. The only reason I know that is because I was at the first one when <laughs> they beat Crawford County, when um, them and Crawford County started the uh, their programs in 2006. So that we have there. So this will be a big win for them. You know, second one in this series here in the Washington County is uh, we look at and See the Senators, they're going to line up here as the victory formation comes up there. Bannon under center. He's going to sit there. He's going to take a snap. He's going to drop. And that should just about take us down. One more, I believe. Five seconds to go. Yeah. So uh, please join us as we all, we're going to go to some commercials, come back here real quick for some quick uh, – Looking at the uh, at the music mechanical post game show coming up here, talk about some final thoughts there as we get moving on. We're not on the air a lot this week except for Clarksville, so yeah, we'll do that. As Bannon takes the snap, he's going to knee it, and that's going to seal the deal for the Musketeers. They're going to be winning 21 to six here, so it's going to be a a big win for them. Their second one in the series. Um, they're going to be uh, enjoying this um, for the young Senators here. They have nothing to hang their heads about. They're, once again, I'm going to say they're a young group. They've they've had to kind of do that. Uh, I had a good talk with Coach Dwayne Nance about that. He talked about how they uh, don't have a lot of guys that have many stats from last year because yeah. they were so young. So We're going to we'll, jump away, take yep. a quick commercial break, and we'll be back in about 60 seconds. Are you looking for a great HVAC person that's also local? Somebody who's from here in Southern Indiana? Then look no further than Mike Music and Busick Mechanical Services, located in Paoli, Indiana. They offer a wide variety of services, including not only maintenance, but repairs on all of your heat and cooling needs. Got an ice maker on the fritz? They can help you with that. How about a commercial chiller or freezer? They've got your back. Is your boiler on the fritz? They can help you with that too. They even work on outdoor furnaces. Best of all, they're located right here in Paley, Indiana. Give Mike a call at 812-498-1736. Don't worry, Mike Music knows every aspect of the HVAC maintenance inside and out. Mike is a problem solver and can get all your equipment up and running like new, whether it's summer or winter. Then Mike is your guy. Music Mechanical Services, 812-498-1736. 
HVAC done right. Paley, Indiana. 812-498-1736. Welcome back to West Washington Live Stream here on, also on WWSR. I'm Brad Mills here on the Music Mechanical Services post game show. It's a mouthful. Woo! I got <laughs> yeah, it there. Boy. Um, you know, not the way the scoreboard wanted to end for the Senators as they lose 21-6. to but, uh, you know, here on the Music Mechanical Services postgame show, uh, we'll talk about, you know, some of the pros versus cons. Craig, what are, you know, we always start at our house. Can I do the uh, sour and sweet? You yeah, guys there ever we do go. That? What is your sweet and sour from this game? Well, go the, ahead. the sweet is that the Senators come out, they, they play a pretty good first half of, of football, and then, um, you know, it, it just didn't go their way in the second half. So, you know, they, they play a good half of football, just not the whole game. So, you know, the sweet is they've got that football under their, under their you know, pads. They're ready to play the next game, Clarksville. Um, so that's the sweet. The sour, you know, everybody wants to come out with a win the first mm-hmm. game. And it's been 13 years since the Senators mm-hmm. haven't been able to come out that first game with a win. So, you know, the, the Senators, it, it's one of those that the Senators have kind of a bad taste in their mouth right now. So we go over you, Doc Holiday. What do you think there? Sweet and sour for the night there. All right. So I'll, I'll start it all. <laughs> start out here. I'm going to try not to take up too much no time. Problem. You know, uh, the, the sweet for me is everybody came out of this game healthy. We had some cramps and, and whatnot. Uh, I think a lot of these younger kids got some play in time in, got their first game under their belt. Um, it's definitely one of those things that it's, it's definitely going to be a game changer uh, rolling into week two. Um, I know we're going to be here at home again. Mm -hmm. So you'll hear some more from us. Um, Another big thing that I would say the sweet is we've we've got to see a little bit more depth in our offense. Mm -hmm. Uh, Our defense spent a lot of time on the the field over the game, but I will say we got to see some more of that passing game that that West Washington has always been known for. And it's kind of had to pull Jeremy Lowry's uh, way he does things a little outside the box. So Mm -hmm. that was definitely one of the sweet things that I like to see uh, a team able to adapt and play both ways. With the sour, obviously everybody wants to walk walk away with that win. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, I will say the last time we went to state, we lost our first game. All right. Hey, there you go. So um, when when, uh, we kind of sit down and we look at the sour, I think a lot of what was going on on the field was, yeah, we're young. um, It we didn't really capitalize in places that we should have capitalized in. We uh, we missed a, a fumble down here. We also missed an interception. Uh, we had a couple drop drop balls in the backfield. Yeah, there were some turnovers there, here and there. Uh, I think a lot of this is going to come down to just slowing down, getting our head straight, uh, kind of being able to rally around each other as a team and, and stay together. I know our defense took a lot of licks tonight. Uh, just try to get them all back to where – we're good, good to go next Friday, and, and hopefully they don't carry the weight of the loss on their shoulders. Well, here on the Music Mechanical Services, services post-game <laughs> show, I got my fingers, so it's a lot of words. But I will say one of the sweet is you see a lot of young kids out here playing some new positions for the first time, getting the opportunity to play. That's a big thing. I, I'd say, you know, our salary is not able to, you know, come up with the big plays. You know, unfortunately in the game of football, sometimes when opportunity and preparation kind of come together, that's where you get success. There's going to be success for this team during the season. So it's just rebounding from that. How do you want to go? And, I, you know, I, I look at this, you know, last time the Eastern beat us, we still had a pretty decent year that year. And uh, Eastern's going to have a pretty decent year themselves. That's something we can hang your hat on. Game one, unfortunately for us, this is not like the college football playoff where yeah. you're doing. You still have a lot. So we've got a thing, and we've got to be able to refocus here and reload and uh, – hey, the sun's going to rise over Campbellsburg tomorrow, and we're going to be ready to lock and load and uh, uh, beat the Generals next week. So um, from all of us here at West Washington uh, live stream here on the Music Mechanical Services postgame show, I'm Brad Mills. I'm Doc Holliday. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I got Johnny Ringo over here on my left. <laughs> That's Mr. Craig Akers. Thank you so much, and God bless you guys. We'll see you next week.